been a while since I played Elite Dangerous. I need to download some mods for it, though. But I guess first up today, I'll start fiddling with the sticks. But I do need to do the mods. But yeah. I can just swing them in and out of the way as I need them. Which is uh, pretty cool. I think. I think that's. Pr I feel that's pretty cool. A scare time age? What does that mean? What's a scare time? Haha. <laughs> the only problem is, I think that wherever I am in game, I'm not anywhere near my ship, and I don't know how to get to my ship, so we'll have to deal with that first. In the meantime, though, and if I give up on this, I can always go back to um, in nearly 25, nearly 26, now girls or women's, women's approach you with hello. Really? I don't know, like, women, women uh, approach you? I still have it, but I uh, haven't played it in a while because um, I can't afford the. Um... I can't afford the uh... cost of playing it, really. Second. Ooh. I finished the um the mounts by the way. I've got the I've got my HOTUS mounts fixed. So now I can like pull them out and put them back as I like. How cool is that? While this is going on, I want to look up essential odds. 2022, if I can spell stuff correctly. Alright. Uh, there was a list of good ones. Ah, here we go. If you say no, I don't have a kid, you're not attractive anymore. I'm 33, I'm almost 33 and people still, like, tell me that I look pretty. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think that's true. I've seen you. You don't not look attractive. What are you talking about? This is in your head. This is in your head. Okay? Anyway, crazy to funny. It doesn't matter if random people... If you're attracting young mothers. What's wrong with you attracting young mothers? Milfs are fucking hot. I just want some open... I just want an open, uh... Training simulators challenge, pilot assessment... No, training simulations... I just want... I just... I just... I, I just want to be able to... Free play. No. Oh shit. <sighs> mm. Alright, so market connector trade computer extension to the graphical mod is probably the one that I'm more most interested in. Do do la da dee la da do la da do
Mint menu. I just, I just want to do like a free fly thing, but like, eh. would you raise my son with me? Yeah. I mean, like, if you're ready for that, then you're ready for that. But if you're not, you're not. You know what I mean? I think I think I'm just gonna do a tutorial and um, fiddle with sticks while that's going on. All right. How do I? Anybody in there? Hey, pilot, do you read me? Nope. Let's have a look at this thing. Let's, 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 uh, yeah, let's do this shit. Take your time, pilot. It's not like I have anything more important to do. Alright, so, flight rotation. Yours. Flight thrust. Joy RX, which I believe is this one here. All right, let's let, let's see what what we've got um, so far. So I use. Oh. Okay, so it's got it's got the wrong one. Hey. Echo. Oh fuck, sorry. That's my fault. Shouldn't be an echo anymore. Alright, let's go through this thing. Set up these controls. Flight rotation. Your turning left or right. Am I talking to myself? Yep. Do 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 No. Wait, your into all, a slight, unless I'm wrong, slight your when you, no, I don't want that. Okay. Roll access. Pitch. <laughs> Alright, so that's flight rotation done. Flight thrust. Lateral, so left and right maneuvering thrust. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want this one here. Joy RX, yep. Joy RY. You're yeah, more at the moment on Euro Truck Simulator. Two weeks. Ooh. That must be good then. Thrust forward and backward.
I don't think I need to fuck with that. Alternate flight route controls toggle. I wonder if this will do anything. Yeah. Your access. Okay, this is alternative flight controls. Screw that. Hey, Shane, how's it going? We're playing with the sticks now. Throttle axis. So, desired speed. Forward only. Yep, joy y axis. Yep. Forward only. It's joy four. Which one's joy four? Dang it! When throttle axis range, this said to work, this will allow the to toggle in place of forward movement with this one. Cancel. No. No. All right, so I need to toggle this. This is this is going to be a toggle button. So what do I toggle to set it set it to reverse there? It's a switch. Hang it. What do I do? What do I do? Which one do I toggle into reverse for? If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. These buttons. So, wait. I'm going to be toggling it into reverse. Um, that's going to be up. What do I want for reverse? Sounds uh, BDW numbers. Yeah, oh, Shane, this one's Elite Dangerous as well, so it's going to be slightly different. I'm just wondering, I'm just thinking to myself what uh, what I'm going to do. Throttle axis, inverted, regularly inverted. Full range forward only, yeah. Light throttle. So I would use like the left hand uh, one um, for that, but um, I guess I'm gonna clip clip them both in together maybe. Yeah, they're similar. Like there's a lot more that goes into Star Citizen. I was I'm gonna wait until I have a bit more money before I get into Star Citizen. I'm just curious as to what I'm gonna what I'm gonna um, do for um, Reverse this one here. Hmm. So obviously that this would probably be boost in that. Yeah, we go. No, now they're both together. Uh, I disagree, but um, you you are allowed to have that opinion. So what button should I do for this? To reverse it. I'm wanting to go into to switch quickly into reverse. What button do I press?
There's these two buttons on the back. I don't know, I'll come back to that. Landing of rides. That'll be fine. Flight miscellaneous, flight assist. Yeah, all right. Fiddling those sticks. Hmm. Huggle flight assist. I guess this would be, yeah, flight assist. Yes. Huggle. Oh, that's what flight assist is, yeah. Alright, cool, yeah. Engine boost. Frame shift drive. There's a but there's a there's a way to to do this. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. So yeah, holding holding that for engine boost, toggle frame shift drive would be. To either. So Super Cruise, yeah. The only thing is, I kind of want these to be close together. But that's alright. We'll go frame ship drive, hyperspace jump, frame ship drive. So non-trivial and game dependent. I know, right? But it's kind of fun to set them up the first time because you'd think, "Ooh, what would I use?" Ooh. Yeah.
This is like a quick button for um for doing the the frame shift drive. So maybe I'm just gonna do that one. Super Cruise. Puggle flight assist will be one. Confirm. Super Cruise will be number one. Joy 18. Hyperspace jump. Confirm. Rotational correction on and off. Ah. Wait, this one. Be down? Yeah. They've got completely different names as well for each button. So the, the, it's labeled as toggle one, but it says joy 13 on, on here, and it really fucking frustrates me. to do that one there but um So this is just the natural like targeting system here. So to do that do that select highest threat would be a good one for that one there. Okay, make it a bit higher. There you go. It's a little bit better. Um yeah, so highest threat would be the pink my pinky here um next hostile target though i'm gonna be doing using this one here i think the next hostile target Oh, cancel. Next system in a route route would be useful. <sighs> I 
the next hostile target is going to be more useful so I'm gonna choose which ones I'm doing for targets so yeah next hostile target will be there previous hostile ship will be there and I think that the next highest threat will be there Or I could do Oh wait, hold on a second. I've got an idea. Haha. <laughs> Check this out. Alright. So target ahead will be hold. Next target is just gonna be this one. Confirm. Previous ship is gonna be this one. And then if the highest threat, I'll hold that one there. Because that'll make sense. Yay! Yay! And then I've got it all set to one... To one, uh, piece. Alright, so... Selecting teammates, though. Oh gosh. Selecting teammate one. It's a fucking, it's a fuck ton, but they're all needed. Uh, the key are needed even less than in Star Citizen versus um, Elite Dangerous, really? I, I, I just find this fun. Um... So this is the teammate button there. That 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 little little toggle underneath is the teammate button. Alright, next subsystem. The target's current subsystems doing you. I guess I guess I guess I can use uh, Joy28 and uh, 29 for that to target their subsystems. Uh, the next system in a route is important though. Um, but I'll come back to that. It'll depend on like what um, what I do. Weapons, primary fire. Ha ha. Joy one, secondary fire. Joy two. I guess that one. So, okay, which one's Joy 2? What's what's secondary fire then? Da, da, da. So Joy 2, secondary fire. Is it this one? No? Cancel. Joy 2 is that pinky? Ah, wait, what? No. What's Joy 2 then? What button is Joy 2? Eh? No? What is Joy 2? 
joy seven, cancel. Joy nine, cancel. No. So. Oh wait, no, that is joy two. <sighs> well, cycle next fire group. This current fire group forward based on the fire group. Um, fire groups, I guess. There's a two here. Did I end up end up having the, this one? Yeah, they are all full of joy, hundred percent. Next filter, pencil. Weapons fire group. Hmm. I could do. Of that power. Yes. Cycling the fire groups is going to be an interesting one. What do I use? What do I do? You know what, I'm going to hold on to that one and think about it. Deploying the hard points. Cooling, silent running. Confirm. Confirm. Cooling. Miscellaneous ship lights toggles the headlights on and on, on and off. Ah, oh, sensor zoom. Joy U access. Yeah. That's a C. Yeah, fantastic. That's awesome. I've got a little uh, toggle here that can be used for it. Divert power to engines. Yes, ah, yes, this is the power shit. So, yeah, diverting power to engines will be... Oh. Seven. So... Why? Weapons are on the right, system on the left. Ah, damn it. Was I miscellaneous weapons are on the right? Systems are on the left. Engines are up and balance is down. Active HMD orientated full mounted. The head mounted display. 
head mounted display. What? Hey, Nola, how's it going? Cargo escape. The microphone mute. Push to talk. Mm. I'll do that. Left a dead body in my Discord. Nice. Call to cops. I don't usually use a microphone through this game. Do I push to talk though? I don't know if there's anything that I'd use. Unless it was, uh. Down, up and down. Yes, charge ACM. Wait, what's ACM again? I can't remember what an ACM is. Electronic countermeasure. Ah. So shield, weapons, I guess system. Yep. Context menu. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Weapon color customization. There's customization for this shit? What? That's alright. Night vision! Ooh, 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 which one was... Yeah, there we go. Joy 8 hold, yeats. There we go. You can change the engine color and... Weapon color? 
That's pretty sick. Now, there's a couple of other things that I that I didn't end up uh, figuring out. Wonder if this will. is all done, flight throttle. I think I figured out a way for that to work. The throttle reverse button is sorted. There was another one that, yeah, target next system and route, weapons, yep. Um, cooling was sorted, miscellaneous, uh, increased sensor zoom. Oh no, that's all, that's all sorted. Uh, no, that's all good. Cargo scoop is good. Engine color and weapon color? cool to have but some microphone mute Winston Churchill was a great man that won World War two slash s all right all right all right what are you what are you guys putting in my putting in my bloody discord dang it dash da, da, gosh dang nabbit Greer uh, came down to he is a white supremacist mass murderer interposed in your tweet with a number I think seven or eight uh, oh. clapping emojis applauding your own genius and describing Sir Winston in that manner. Yeah, absolutely. So let's make a comparison. Pierce, you're a, a sensitive soul. Yesterday you accused me of being a racist for pointing out that you look like honey-glazed gammon. If you want an example of real racism, <laughs> you just have to look to Churchill. He talked about his belief in the triumph of the Aryan race. He hated Indians with a passion. He said they were a beastly people with a beastly religion. When a famine broke out, three million people starved to death. Ooh. So that's why I said that he was a white supremacist. I said mass murderer because he always advocated the most violent, the most destructive options. He used poisoned gas against Kurds, against Afghans. Mm -hmm. He was a strong supporter of Britain's concentration camps in the Boer War, where 28,000 people, women and children, died. He's always advocated the use of aerial bombardments in what he described as terror bombing campaigns. In fact, his own cabinet had to stop him when he was, uh, when he was in the cabinet in the 20s. Cabinet colleagues had to stop him from uh, bombing protesters in Ireland. Uh, Winston Churchill was voted the greatest Britain of the last century for a reason is that people believe that he, almost single-handedly, through the power of his rhetoric in World War II, saved this country from the Nazis. Again, you laugh. That sneering little laugh. rhetoric that won the war. It the was the soldiers, the laugh. sailors, yeah. and see? the airmen who won the war, and right, they voted okay. them out when they came home. Yeah. <laughs> and they voted them out when they came home. The fucking true. True. Yeah, Winston Churchill was a, was a racist piece of shit. I don't understand, like, people who fucking like have this weird like love of royals and like fucking rich people it's, it doesn't make sense to me y'all are weird so wait so that one's silent running 
I do want to, and if I do this one, three, six, hold. Ah, what? Cooling. Silent running. Deploy heatsink. I, I want to deploy heatsink with this one, I think. Yeah. So silent running will be this one here. Ship lights will be this one here. Where is night vision holding this one here? So, so that's ship lights. That's silent running. Ship lights is up, silent running is down. Um, Joy 8 has nothing. That's apparently weapon mute. I mean, microphone mute. What? No. 8. Um. The destroys, yeah. Pikachu's used cocaine. The best part of waking up is cocaine in your cup. Playing with the joystick sounds kinky. Ew. Yes, the clickbait is working. Alright, so that's up and down. Weapon color gonna be hold. Engine color gonna be hold. Alright, I think I got everything. Since the zoom. Yep, that's everything in miscellaneous. Uh, cooling is sorted. Cycle next fire group is still not done yet, though. That's all. And yeah, so all of these, these three ones are done. Um. Next system in route is, I think, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Next system is down. I wonder if this is going to work. Hold on. So I got forward, and then I put... So, ah, so forward by itself is reverse, and then that's together is forward. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's pretty sick. So, dang it. Night vision. No vision, light. Ready for silent running. Can't remember what these two do. Oh. This is muting and unmuting. What was the down one done?
Alright, so let's pretty much push them both up. Oh yeah, that's right. Ta da! Dead. Is the joystick mounted to the Vasomite? I, I, I'm... Roommate question. It is connected to two, um... Uh, monitor mounts. And so, for your friend, I'm going to take a picture of it because our picture is going to show it a lot better than I ever could explain. Excuse my dirty floor. Make sure I don't put the nude in there. Uh, oh, yes, we try. Check this out. So I, I I basically made my own mount. I made my own fucking mount. Okay, your power's back up and running. Some control systems are still offline, but you should have basic drive functionality. You might want to check that your throttle's still working. Go ahead and set your throttle, Commander. Yeah, I I know. I'm setting much. I'm I'm setting all of my buttons, lady. And I still haven't done the SRV controls model ish. So it's the targeting. Oh yeah, I've done targeting. Targeting is next system in route, which is Joy 9. Alright, there we go. Uh, cycle next fire group, previous fire group. That's, that's the one I need. still need to bind. Um. Yeah, that's all right. Mode switches. Hey, cockpit UI. Wait, what? I don't. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, external... Yep. Navigation, yep. Comms is up. Text input field, okay. Quick comms. Input field. <laughs> yeah, I made it myself. Hey, the the um the official um the, the official mounts uh, cost three hundred dollars. Guess how much these cost? These cost these cost me like fifty five bucks to set up. Fifty five bucks because I got the mounts on uh, Facebook Marketplace for twenty five bucks each.
Ah, yes. Cockpit mode. Actually, what's this one? Travel flight assist. It's on. So that's rotational correction. Wait, what's this one again? Ah, okay. Mm, This one again. Benson. Rotational correction. Ah, there we go. Toggle flight assist and rotational correction should be like held. FS mode, maybe. Those mines and maybe you move shit around. Yeah, yeah, basically, watch. I can just move them out of the way. And, uh, pick up my controller and start doing the first per the FPS, um, stuff. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I banned sensing cards that I brought up before, but I sent the link if you want to look at them. Well, the ones that let through. Banned cards! Wow. I'm just like, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about what, 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 what to open up, switch cockpit mode, between analysis and combat mode, then this is that, I definitely want to have it here, I'm just trying to remember, what's this one again, deploy hard points, cancel, what's this one then, nothing, alright, so that, Pinky one is switch cockpit mode. Wonderful. Um, I want to be able to open discovery fairly easily. Yeah. Wait, so that's galaxy map. What's this one then? Oh, okay. The galaxy map and system map are 14 and 15. These ones I'll think about. Discovery, cockpit mode, all good. Quick comms, UI focus. I don't know what that means, but all right. Uh,
Joy 15. Yeah. Um, flight assist. I'll leave that for now. I've cycled next fire group and previous fire group. I'll figure that out in a in a, in a moment. Uh, there we go. There we go. Cool. Headlock mode. Mouse headlock on. No. No default state is off. Continuous access mode. Accumulate. Reset headlock. Joy up and down is right, cool. Inverted, all right, cool. Pole mounts for the, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's the same as a to, as a as a uh, as a a um, monitor mount. They're just upside down. I just turned uh, some monitor mounts upside down. <laughs> That's what I was doing yesterday. Head look is all sorted. Multi crew mode toggle. Oh, I don't even know how this works. Fighter orders. Well, I can use the nums for that. Okay. Why do you not have a problem with any of these things? Okay. Okay, we've got num bindings for that, I guess. All right, camera pitch, vertical axis, joy, why? Ah! Vertical, yes, y, x. Zoom into target. What the fuck? No. Show one. Zoom out. Yeah, upside down face lines for a kick. Yeah. Discovery scan. Leave FFS mode, FSS mode and return to cockpit view. Damn it. What, what was open? Enter FS, FFS as Joy 17. I think this one? Yes. Uh 
<laughs> Detailed surface stacks, kind of toggle front back view. Um, I guess this one. Switch cockpit mode. I think it's that one. Handsome. Wait, what? No, I want them both to be the same. Lame. You die in Dark Souls t-shirt sort of restores my faith in humanity. Yeah, that's pretty true. DSS mouse sensitivity, fucking hell. There's so many things in this. I'm so close to rage, rage quitting. No, cycles to the next fiddler. That sounds like a subreddit which probably already exists. And no, I don't want to see if it does. I don't want to confirm this, no. Exit mode. Alright, so the toggling of the back and the front view. Front and the back view of a planet. No. Cancel. Why does it why does it have to be its own fucking button? Okay. I can toggle it using that. Exit the mode. Alright, cool. Next filter. The planetary heat map. Okay, cool. Mouse X axis. Go away, go away, go away, go away, third person, you're... There's a field of view controller? Thanks. Turning that up to the full. All right. All right. So, rotational correction and flight assist. That's all. All right. I can still use these buttons. Cool. All right. Wonderful. Next fire group based on fire group configuration. No, cancel. Cancel. Next fire group, this one? No, nope, cancel. Next fire group, this... Ah, they're all... They're all used. I guess. Then the next fire group based on fire group. Ooh, interesting.
no, no, so the game menu and friends menu are still things that I can set. And I also have a bunch of buttons here as well that I can still set. I don't really need the game menu one. Fuck it. I think that's it. I think that's all of them. I think we've set everything up. For the ship. Um, now there- oh wait, so, would you- Play something like Dark Souls 3, Dead or Alive, or Soul Calibur. Um, I'm not really a big fan of, like, the, like, you know, the side-scrolling fighting games myself, but... Generate reference card. Please select a file. Browse. Browse? Browse. Alright. Oh, hey, cool. It's there already. Generate reference card. Let's have a look. Let's have a look how it looks. Let's see if this if I can figure out it'll work. Alright. Alright, you're on. Man, really? Oh, well, we might just get this rust bucket space worthy. Drone repair sequence is still running on your ship. You're lucky I had these things. They're not what you'd class as standard equipment. Your attitude control should now be active. See if you can pitch your ship up and down. Give it a go. Oh, using the pitch and... Let's see if we can get you rolling again. Okay, you should be able to give it a try now. Spin your ship on its central axis using your roll controls. Yay, rolling! Good job, Commander. One final axis of control and you should be good to go. Yaw is back online now. Why don't you try pivoting your ship from side to side? That's it, Commander. It would appear you have a semi-operational sidewinder on your hands. I wouldn't take any chances, though. So you best get that ship into dock for repair. Wait a second. There's an outpost nearby. See if you can make it there. I guess now might be a good time to introduce myself. My name's Blaine. I'm something of a freelancer in these parts. You know, this could be a lucky break for both of us. I've been looking for a business partner. Someone to help me with potentially lucrative ventures. And you need someone to take you under their wing. Show you the ropes, so to speak. I have to say, it's not I'm often I help out strangers like this, so I think you owe me one. The least you can do is buy me a lavy and brandy. I'll see you at the outpost, Commander. Ah, yeah, this feels good. I don't remember which button flight assist was. What was this one? Yeah, who knows? Whoopsies! Whoopsies! What was this one again? 
Lights out. Oh yeah. Well, it seems to be working. I still can't quite remember all of the buttons off the top of my head. Um, so I'm just going to pop this, box, this baby up here so it can remind me. I still don't know how to use this button. The like oh the, the button that's like a clip thing. It looks like a switch of some description, but it doesn't seem to be like recognized by the game at all, ever. Um Let's see if I can get in. Wait, what? To all humankind, this is salvation. Future A FaZe Clan subway ad, holy shit. Wait, when was there cutscenes in this game? When did that start? Consigned to the past. With my guidance, Azimuth has constructed the means to destroy our enemy. I... Final gift. Born from a century of sacrifice. The Proteus Wave. Ah, yes. Our victory Woo! is delivered in this moment. This great chapter begins now. Cool. Proteus Wave is online, Commodore Halloran. Surface site readings are stable. Initiate countdown sequence. 20, 19, 18. Multiple Thargoid interceptors approaching. Just a few more seconds. Oh yeah, there was a storyline to this game, wasn't there? I remember last time I was playing this game, I was just like farming engineering, um, engineering stuff. No life signs. And the rest of the Thargoid fleet. Similar reports from across the system. They're shutting down. Hmm? I'm picking up an energy surge near. No, from the Proteus wave site. Thargoid markers, but amplified past anything I can. Got the weapon down. No. I want to stop the Uh oh. Controls are not responsive. All systems offline. Engineering. We need power now. All crew. Brace for impact. You know, uh. Oh, damn it. I thought this was a skippable, skippable cutscene, but it's not. <laughs> Lame. All right. 
Let's hope, let's see if I can actually like get out of where I was last time I was playing this game because I couldn't figure out how to actually find my ship. Don't forget your limpets. Yeah. Definitely not. Ooh. Oh, I'm in I'm in my ship. Where am I? And I got oh I got my little uh I got my little boy in there. I got my little uh, cactus as well. All right, well, I'm in my ship. Let's 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 check this shit out. Let's let's figure out where I am. Oh no. Oh, it's toggle two. I'm on Tabit. A and D is where my uh, my sheaf is. See, I got all my ships. Fish taco supremo with my python. My sword do fish. <clears throat> my Eldorado Diamondback Explorer, the Alliance Chieftain, the Iron Chief. <laughs> what am I in right now? They're all in A and D. No active missions. No. We go. Let's go, I think. How do I sheet? I can't remember how to turn on my sheep. Wait a second. <laughs> Reference card. Wait, how do I turn shit on? I'm mass locked. Can I like just... Can I just... Like, go up? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, drive engaging. Ah, oh, okay. Slow down, fuck you. Ah, here we go. Yo, what does this one do? Comply. Rude. Cannot comply. Rude. Cannot comply. What about boost? Why you never let me boost? Hold on. Wait, land again, that's the be gone. Yay, now I can do it. Whee! Frame shift drive charging. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one, engage. It's 
too bright in here, fuck. Now, if I remember correctly... Um, what's this one? Alright, hold on. We're looking super cruise. Slight assist is this one, I believe. Super cruise. How do I do the automatic, um... remember how this all works. Flight assist maybe? Flight assist off. Flight assist on. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. I think I'm, uh, uh... I think this is, this, this is what works. If it tells me to, like, I think this is flight assist anyway. I'm not entirely sure if I even have flight assist though. I should try out a, um, a, uh, um, fighting, um, training simulator bit. Working. Is there any fast there I can go? I guess not. We are just flying in space now. Woo! Well, now that this is working, I might um, jump into something else and um, figure it out on my, on my own so we can have some fun. Or I can just, like, bring up... Ooh, wait. We're uh, starting to... Wait, why, why is it, why is it not, wait, what, doesn't appear to be stopping, wait, huh, seem to, oh, okay, 
that makes more sense. I don't think I have um, uh, a like Super Cruise Assist module installed. Is the reason? So I have to do all the landing and everything manually. I haven't actually pl properly played this game with this um, system yet, so... Why? Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Scan but why? Detected. Docking request denied. The fuck? Why? But why? Request denied. Huh? But why? Is there a reason? I got zero notor notoriety. Why can I not just like why? Yo, Pinto Hub. Let me in. Pinto Hub. Proceed to landing pad four. If I can remember how to land, that'd be great. is a landing pad. Landing pad four. Oh, there you are. Morning. 
Loading gear not deployed. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I have to turn around? Oh, bloody hell, really? It's been a long time since I've done this. There we go. <laughs> Perfect landing. Absolutely no problems there. <sighs> Alright. this This isn't really my combat sh ship, though. You know what I might do? Let's have a look at the... Galaxy map! Oh, it's not set up. Not set up. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go. Flood that route. Perfect. Yeah. I honestly can't remember what I was doing exactly. Yes, that makes it much easier to have a button that does that automatically. Frame shift drive charging.
All right, then what do we got here? What is the now? What is this shit that you've sent me? So this is why the the problem with free university, why free college hurts the poor. Groovy. Okay, visual economic fans, I have a question for you. Do you believe that access to university should be free for everyone? Well, yes. I dare say most of you probably think so, that there are plenty of reasons why free access to higher education is more than desirable. For example, by not having to pay university fees, everyone could be trained and get a quality job. In other words, university would be a way to promote equal opportunities regardless of the income level of the students' families, merit and effort over economic capacity. In short, making it possible for even the poorest person to attend university seems like a perfect way of reducing inequality and achieving a more equitable world. And you may be partly right. However, I am sorry to disappoint you, but things are not that easy. The particular issue is a bit more complicated than it may be. This guy talks so fast fucking fast. <laughs> it's so hard to understand. What the fuck? Hold on. I think Dangerous needs to, needs to quiet down a little bit more. First seem to us at first glance. But of course, you want some proof of what I'm talking about. So take a look at this. This line represents the percentage of college access for young Americans. As you can see, the higher the income of the parents, the greater the chances that their children will have access to higher education. Specifically, while 9 out of 10 children from better off families gain access to university, only 3 out of 10 children from poor families do so. In other words, if you are born into a wealthy family in the US, you have 3 times the chance of being a college graduate than if you are born into a low income family. But so far, of course, this is nothing new. The United States is not exactly known for having free universities accessible to all, so it is logical that these lowest socioeconomic groups have fewer opportunities than the rest. Well, take a look at what happens when we draw a line on the same graph representing university access in France. Surprisingly, the French and American lines are almost identical. Students both rich and poor, American and French, access university in very similar proportions. And now, I'm sure many of you are wondering, are universities in France also private and do lower... Yeah, so you're showing me a correlation here. Um, how are you going to prove that there is a causal relationship between it? Like... Where are we going? Wait. Oh no, it... Oh, there it is. There you are. Couldn't find you. Lol. Yeah, so you're showing me a uh, correlation, but not not a causation. Are you, is he seriously just going to show that, look at that line and say that's why? 
income families have to face unaffordable university fees that cause this inequality. Is France and America so similar? This is where the most curious aspect of all comes in. France is the opposite of the USA. France is one of the countries with the most subsidized universities in the world. However, that does not translate into the poor being better able to pursue higher education. It's as if having why, an though? almost free university doesn't make any difference. So now the question is, Yay! why does this happen? Why, despite the overwhelming difference in fees, do social inequalities remain virtually intact? Why does making university so cheap seem to serve absolutely no purpose, at least if we're talking about facilitating access? Well, the truth is that the answer may surprise you even more. What would you think if I told you that free, or nearly free, college actually increases inequality further? What if I told you that offering college at zero cost may be a policy that exacerbates inequality and punishes the less affluent classes? Today on Visual Economic, we're going to... Well, then you would need to tell me what you mean, what you mean by inequality. If we're talking about, like, that gap between university access between, like, poor and rich, there's a lot of other factors that come into being. Like, I can access uh, the university, like, without having to pay up front. Yes, there's student loans, but there's no up upfront fees. Like, the university itself is not costing me. But what is costing me is my ability to uh, live, to pay for a... To, to basically pay for my like living expenses while I'm earning while I'm learning which for someone like me is virtually impossible to do at the same time while I'm trying to study so we're we gonna go look at those issues Explain this paradox listen up Just a moment ago, we said that both France and the United States, the children of the wealthiest families are three times more likely to go to college than the children of the poorest families. All this, despite the fact that in the United States, the cost of university is much higher than in France. And if you look at this information, but like I've already said, like there's a lot of like other nuance going into this as well. It's not just the cost of university that needs to be addressed. And alone, we could deduce a key factor. Perhaps the price to pay for college is not what is causing these class differences. But if the price of the enrollment fee is not the real cause of inequality, then how on earth can we explain such differences between the wealthiest and the least wealthy families? Well, the answer is in the children. In a study done in German schools, it was found that children from families with fewer resources were a clear academic disadvantage compared to children from average families. For example, while only 2 out of 10 children from the poorest families were able to recognise letters at the start of kindergarten, more than 7 out of 10 children from middle class families were able to do so. And it does not matter whether the underlying reasons were cultural or material. The most interesting aspect of this data is that it shows that economic prosperity is correlated with children's academic development. And we're not only talking about children of kindergarten age, where apparently income differences should not mean too much. But why? Does all this matter if we are talking about university inequality? Basically, for one reason. As a student from a low-income family accumulates poor school performance, he or she is more and more likely to fail academically and drop out of the educational system. In short, if the children of the least prosperous families are less likely to go to university, this has to do, above all, with what we could call early school failure and not with not being able to pay tuition fees. And just like that, whether the institutions are more or less costly, it is not very relevant for curbing the problem. But take note, because there is still more... Wait. That doesn't change the correlation. You're just you're just claiming that 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 doesn't really affect it, without actually giving like a reason for that. What? I'm so confused. I'm actually a little bit confused here. Like, what did does, did he really think that that was a gotcha there? Does he think that that was a real gotcha moment there? Because that doesn't. Yeah, this is double tasking, elite dangerous, and YouTube praxis. Yes, yes. But yeah. What he's saying there is that uh, poverty is um, a thing which is more effective. But instead of me saying, yeah, we need free universities and to tackle poverty, right? Uh, he's... Oh, I'm already in here. Yeah, I mean, I am he. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way around. Yay. Let's go. Let's -a go. Um, yeah. But saying that another thing has a is important. Saying for saying point A has a correlation, and then point B has a correlation. Therefore, both of those things. This is just a 
like a non sequitur. It doesn't tackle the reason. It doesn't answer the question why um, free university doesn't seem to be helping people in France. It doesn't answer that question at all. It just seems to point to the idea that you also need to tackle like wealth inequality at the same time like basically if you remove free university and tackle to wealth inequality instead like you would still see the same problem you wouldn't if you you wouldn't necessarily see like a higher access for people who are in poverty they they they're not the two things aren't correlated together they're not like there's no causal relationship between the two issues. He hasn't shown anything here. He's just done a whataboutism. A study done in France found that 9 out of 10 students received financial aid from their parents. So far, no surprises there. However, the important point is that while the poorest received almost 3,000 a year from their parents, the children of the wealthiest received up to 10,000 euros a year. And as you can imagine, for many young people who have to move to other cities to study, this makes a very significant difference. Because in many cases, the cost of going to college just goes far beyond the tuition. We're talking about rent, transport, food, and everything necessary to be attend college, mostly alcohol. Needless to say, this is an undertaking that, for many families with few resources, is too burdensome. We're regardless of whether or not tuition is free. And that is whether other options such as scholarships or equality financing arise. But we'll talk about that later. The fact is that at the beginning of this video, we did not say at any time that free tuition is useless. We said that it can also be detrimental to students from poorer families. The question then is, how can free tuition hurt those who have the least? Check this out. The inverted Robin Hood. Think about it for a moment. A free university system means that it is free for everyone, for the rich, the middle classes, and for the poor. However, free has a catch. After all, public spending is financed by taxes, taxes that we all pay. So the question is, if the wealthy students are three times more likely to go to college than the poor, and if the state pays for all tuition with everyone's taxes, the state will pay for all of the tuition. Isn't that... That is the stupidest argument I've ever heard. Like, in the system that we have, the people that earn more, generally speaking, end up being taxed more. Yes, there's loopholes and stuff which needs to be shut down, but, like, you are basically arguing that we should... You're making it... You're arguing not for a solution. You're arguing against solving these all these problems that you're actually talking about. You've talked about some legitimate problems. And you're trying to say that making universities expensive is going to make it easier. It's not going to solve the problem. Free college doesn't hurt the poor. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, oh, fuck. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is this is what they always say. More taxes mean like, oh my gosh, they're going to tax your superannuation. It's like poor people don't need to fucking care about tax increases. Tax increases don't fuck with the poor unless they're, like, G sweeping changes like GST. This is stop taxing the rich because it hurts the poor as well. This is this is the stupidest logic of all time. Tantamount to allocating taxes to pay mostly for tuition fees of students from wealthy... Oh, yeah, but, like, I, a poor person isn't going to be paying that much ta taxes, you fucking dumbass. Oh, my gosh. Families. Well, everything indicates that the answer. Here yeah, no. Let, let's not let's not solve the inequalities in our systems. Let's just make it uh, so that uh, rich people can continue to access things uh, with money. Yeah, yeah. Fucking amazing, amazing logic, here dude. Is Holy yes. shit! In France, the average university grant received by the poorest thirty percent of families is around eight thousand euros per year, while the average grant received by the wealthiest ten percent of families is about eighteen thousand euros per year, more than twice as much. This is what is known as a regressive policy or an inverted Robin Hood. That is, no. using taxes to help the richest and not- No, it's not a regressive tax policy. You haven't actually shown an actual, um, you, you, need, you need to be able to show that with, like, actual, like, proof. You need to be able to prove that, and you, you haven't yet. You've just made a claim, um, You've made a claim and expected, and you're expecting me to agree with you based on, like, really shoddy logic. You've brought up real issues, yes, but at the end of the day, 
what you've done is come up with like this weird fucking double logic where apparently um, te- poor people get taxed to subsidize the rich going to university. If you make things like if you allow free university, you at least make it accessible to the poor, right? We need to have free, we need to have universities accessible to the poor, as well as addressing uh, financial inequalities. We need equity, not equality, for fuck's sake. We need redistribution of wealth from the wealthy to the poorest. But you won't hear him talking about this. Using taxes to to help the richest and not the poorest? Alright, cool. Well, how about... How about we use the taxes to um, take money from the rich to give to the poor? No. No, no, no you, you, a, a man, someone like this is never gonna agree to something like that. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous. That wasn't good. It should be for YouTube. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna concentrate for a second because I'm because I'm because I'm uh, trying to land, and I don't have um, visual economic. Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. He talks fast, and he's like basically recommending that we take away uni- free university uh, from. Um, poor people because apparently rich people are going in more so that's just taxing the rich not solving any fucking problems where they're just like yeah uh, 30 where's 30 where's 30 hmm. where's number 30 where, where is it oh there we are Oh, fuck you. Why am I not going back? Why am I not going backwards? Oh, that's right. So I'm not doing it properly. Got him. And I am now in the dark. Docking successful. Ranker dispatched. It's good to have you with us, Commander. The poorest. Something that was quite ironic, considering that taxes are always sold as a method of helping the most disadvantaged. And pay attention, because it doesn't end. You're just saying, but like... You aren't actually proving that. You All he's done is provide a logical argument without providing any proof. So if you can prove to me that it's actually going to, it, it's actually damaging, um, like it, coming out of uh, more poor people's pockets than rich people's, then I, I need to see that in practice. I need to see, see that. And there. Which he's not going to do because Another- he's he's hidden this like rhetorical argument within a bunch of other stuff which is true to try and sneakily put forward neoliberal ideas. Another factor that makes this reverse Robin Hood phenomenon even worse is that the rich receive higher university grants and therefore more opportunities to access better paying jobs and inequality between classes grows over time. By disproportionately paying for university for the richest, we make them even richer in the future. This is what is known as dynamic inequality. And to give you an illustrative figure, in the United States, a college graduate can earn up to two thousand thousand dollars per month more on average than someone with only a high school diploma. So, so not only is he saying that 
It, like, he's talking around the issue. All of these things are true, but the fact is, the solution is not to make it, make university cost more. Like, that's not going to solve this problem, mate. The rich are still going to pay to go to university and are still going to have better fucking earnings. The poor are just going to be more cut off from education. Do the math. Be that as it may, and having seen the potential problems of the free college model, we cannot leave here without providing solutions. So the question is... The potential problems, like the potential problems, yes, but you haven't actually shown that they're actually in existence. What can we do to enable the most disadvantaged to go to college without making it... Universal basic income? Topple capitalism? free. Is there a realistic alternative to highly subsidized systems? Well, the truth is yes. And for that, get ready because we have to go to England. Nothing is free. Although many of you may find it hard to believe, until just two decades ago, university in England was completely free. For much of the 20th century, the British government took care of university costs so that English students did not have to pay a single pound out of pocket for their higher education. However, in 1998, things changed. The government, in its infinite wisdom, decided it no longer felt like spending all the money it was spending on English universities and made them start charging university tuition fees of up to £1,000 a year. That's around US dollars Although it must be noted that tuition fees were lower if the student came from a family with fewer resources. In this way, the government was able to save a few bucks and the students had to bear a small part of the cost of their studies. Nothing too serious. In any case, this small change in 1998 was not so important because of its magnitude because it was the prelude to the most interesting thing that we're going to tell you about in this video. A few years later, in 2006 and 2012, the British government, in its infinite wisdom, made two oh, other changes off. to the British university system, both with the aim of further privatising educational funding. And these changes, my friends, these changes were very considerable. Thereafter, the government allowed universities to charge tuition fees of up to £9,000 per year. Look at this guy's sweaty fucking face. Dude, I think you've got too many lights on thereby saddling students with a very significant part of the cost of university, while the state cut its public spending on tuition by almost two-thirds compared to the 1990s. In addition, the government eliminated the possibility for lower income families to pay reduced tuition. So everyone ended up paying the same price regardless of their wealth. So the question is, what were the consequences of these changes? Was it a hecatomb for poor families? Well, after basically privatizing tuition fees, there was indeed a group of the population that was the most disadvantaged. Surprisingly, the disadvantaged group was not the poorest, but rather the wealthiest. That's right. After the 2006 reforms, students from families with greater purchasing power reduced their university. Oh, he's not even going to focus on whether the problem has been solved he's going to say that that um he's going to say that because uh, rich people ended up spending money uh more then that 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 solved the problem but that's that actually all that does is um obscure the fact that poor people are still not having the same amount of access to these institutions it hasn't solved any of the problems underlying this issue uh, participation by 1.6 percentage points. And guess what happened to the rest of the students? Well, yes, exactly the opposite. The English government, through the privatisation of tuition fees, managed to reduce university spending by two thirds without harming the middle and lower classes. And come to think of it, by reducing the huge How? expenditure that was going to the universities, the government now has more resources Source. Source. To support to strengthening the most basic levels of education and ensuring fewer disadvantaged young people leave the education system prematurely. With this reform, the reverse Robin Hood was reduced to ashes. Wealthy students now had to pay their college tuition. Although, on second thought, now the middle and lower classes also have to pay more tuition. How is it possible that this did not affect- He doesn't show any uh, statistics or facts to back up this, uh, th this claim for the rest of the video. Them. There must be something else, don't you think? Well, indeed, that something else is what is known as student loans. Along with the 2006 and 2012 reforms, the British government- Is he seriously going to talk about how great student loans are? Is he going to talk about the benefit of student loans? Is he really going to say that student loans are a good thing?
government launched a public loan program that was available to everyone. The government lent you money to study, and once you finished your degree, you had to pay it back. This may seem simple and a bit lazy, but wait a minute, because the good thing about these credits is that they have a condition that made them very special. If a student did not manage to find a good job after finishing college, he or she did not have to pay back a single penny to the state. And so, thanks to this system, access to university for disadvantaged people remained very straightforward and practically risk-free. If a student earned no more than £21,000 a year at the end of his or her studies, he Or she did not have to pay anything back. Yeah. That is precisely why the poor oh, yeah. were not harmed by this reform. However, we mentioned a while ago that apart from tuition, there are other expenses that must be taken into account. For example, rent, food, and transport for students who are forced to move from one city to another in order to study. And of course, there's also alcohol. Did the English reform take these factors into account to help disadvantaged families? Yes. In addition to the line of student loans, the British government also approved scholarships of up to £3,700 per year for students with limited resources. This, by the way, was reflected in the fact that students from less affluent families were- And how, how were they able to access those scholarships? Was it a meritocracy-based thing, or was it accessible to all people of-, of um, uh, all people uh, who are under poverty. Also, £3,000 a year is not a lot of money. That's not enough to pay living expenses. That's fucking nothing. What? We're now able to attend universities further away from their homes than before. All in all, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? And in many occasions, the key is not to spend more, but above all- That sounds awful. That sounds awful. You've saddled poor, the, the poorest people with debt in order to, like, get into universities. And you've given them, like, chicken feed in order to allow them to, like, transport themselves at the very least. But, like, you haven't, like, you're assuming that their families are affluent enough to uh, take care of their living expenses um, while they're going through university, which a lot of families aren't. You're not actually addressing any of the underlying issues and you're not actually showing and you never actually proved earlier uh, that poor people uh, had more access to university, even if they did have more access to university through these scholarships and through these um, student loans, they still have debt the debt exists you're just pushing it back all to spend you're not wisely. fucking solving anything it, all of this all this is doing is all this is basically let me explain it to you right now all this is is capital exporting the cost of education onto the individual at the end of the day who benefits from your college education. Your employer benefits from your college education. They benefit from your skill set that they profit off of. Right? Why should you have to pay for something that you aren't the one profiting off of? It's ridiculous. This should be paid for by the richest people in our society. I've got a much better solution to this problem that he's talking about. Tax the fucking rich properly. Close, close the loopholes. Tax major corporations. Put fucking restrictions on their abilities to, um, fucking, like, act to, to, like, fuck with the environment. Actually fight against capital but that is never going to happen in a neoliberal government it's never going to happen in a social democracy because it's still dependent and worships dependent on and worshiping of capital as the god that we all follow the free market be that as it may, visual economic fans, from this video we can draw at least three conclusions. One, free college. One, you are you you have like 
not been able to show that uh, regressive that the free to attend university allocate allocates money to people who do not need it. Um, you, you've completely ignored uh, the fact that um, the solution to this problem is not making privatizing universities. It is to tax the rich more effectively. Tends to allocate mostly public money to people. If money, if the money is being uh, allocated towards rich people, then rich people should pay more for it. People who don't need it, so it's a regressive policy. Two, the main reason why okay. young people of limited means do not access university is early dropout, not so much the... Okay, so you're talking about the early dropout problem um, is as the main problem that prevents young people with few, few resources, resources from accessing university. You haven't talked about any solution to that cost in of university video. tuition. And three, there are more efficient methods. Uh, there are more efficient methods to guarantee university access to all without public waste. Public waste. Public waste. Exporting the costs onto the individual. The public should support the individual, not the other way around. to guarantee university access to all without public waste, such as student loans or scholarships for students with few resources. But now that we have reached this point, it is time to hear from all of you. What would be your perfect college system? Do you still think free college is a good idea? And can you think of any other alternatives that we haven't discussed in this video? You can leave us your answer in the comments below. And of course, don't forget that here on Visual Economic, we release new videos every week. So subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell button down there so you don't miss any of our updates. If you like this video, like it so we know. All the best and I'll see you next time. Absolutely ridiculous. Stupid as fuck. All right. Now I'm going to take a quick break to head to the ladies' room. Um, but I will be back. So don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though, I will be back after this short break.
Oh shit, my hair falls. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly do something because I'm sick of this light fil fi fi filtering in. I'm just sick of it. So, it's gonna be, it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop it. Get some help. Over it. I want it stopped. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a thing, alright? I'm gonna do a thing while I'm eating hot pie. Alright. So I need. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure what you've uh, heard about cutting foam. I don't know what other people use. I don't use knives. I use a hacksaw. Yes, it's weird. Using hacksaws? What the fuck does she use a hacksaw for? That doesn't seem like it would work. Well. I'm happy to tell you that I'm going to show you how wrong I am very shortly. And how bad I am at thorns. After I completely fail to do the thing that I claim I can do with cutting foam. So I'm going to cut some foam. And you're going to watch me. <laughs> see, it's not perfect. There we go. You can see, you can see like exactly why it's not perfect. Ah, it's not bad. But it require it makes it like I I feel like it makes it a much like tighter line at the end of the day for doing this. So I don't care what other people think. I'm gonna do it my way. I hate cutting foam. I really hate it. But why is she cutting foam? I, I hear you ask. Same word in. She's... Use a mark? Why? It's not that kind of foam, it's just bedding. Yeah, that's much better. Nice and straight. Looking at least. Come on, cut through. And then now I'm going to use some scissors. Because fuck the world. Probably it won't work the way I want it to, but like, just needs to look good on that side at least. Oh, actually, this is a bit of a landlord. Scissors works too. There we go, now I've got like a moderately, like, flat thing. I fucked up the edge a little bit, but fuck it. Basically, you can't see this, but there's like a... Oh, actually, like, I'll just show you. There's a fucking skylight right behind my PC. And as soon as, like, it becomes daytime, it just makes it impossible to do shit. 
So I'm going to just plug it up with some foam. Fuck it. Get some soundproofing done as well at the same time. More DIY with Lucy. And maybe we can do some DUI later. 500 by... Uh. Or thereabouts. 500 by 500 sounds about right. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, if it's a little bit too big, that's actually good. 500. Right. 100. 100. To be perfect, just has to look good. Check that out. See? Don't tell. Don't say that I never showed you anything cool. That's uh, that's a pretty good uh, edge, I reckon. I like that edge. <laughs> Ugh, just really hard to do, wouldn't it? This bit is hard to continue looking at all. Okay. There we go. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. I stuff you in there. Somehow. Yeah. Move everything else out of the way. Stuff you in there. Uh. Yes. Ah. Uh. It feeds. Oh, that fits really well. That's really cool. It's a little bit darker in here, at least. <sighs> See, the, it, it, now it's just the uh, windows that I need to deal with somehow.
Let's have some fun. Right, more home improvements. Alright, so I discovered uh, a new a new chud this morning while I was uh, having a look at some stuff. So thought this would be fun to have. I've got um, where's this game capture? Satisfactory in the background. <sighs> All right, so this is someone called A Cheeto, and so um, Noah Sampson um, just uh, uploaded a video this morning, or this evening, for you Americans out there, um, about uh, a YouTube guy who uh, made a video about him, and I paused it as soon as I saw the name, because because then I saw this face. And this face in the background, and this face. So this is someone who seems to be like um, making videos about a lot of my favorite YouTubers. So this is really interesting to me. So I thought it'd be fun to watch a couple of videos. Like Nick is not greed is pretty pretty sweet. A fraud. What is fraudulent? He doesn't just give me one shit about being cancelled. Like, who does? Seriously, who cares about being cancelled? Fucking hell. Ugh. Being cancelled just means, oh, clout. Luckily, Jideon was banned um, for two weeks, and then it turned, I think, into a permanent ban. Realized that it could result in his favorite YouTuber becoming banned from both platforms. And it should cause him to be banned from both. I just want to say this up front. I actually love how um, how how Nick is not Graham has been actually um, utilizing his platform to talk about some of the most toxic shit on the platform. It's actually really cool. Platform. Not enough people are doing. A good this. first step would be to ban Andrew Tate off YouTube and Spotify the same way he was banned off Twitter. Now these can be harsh measures for a lot of people who believe that we should be having complete free speech. Hey, this is not going to be a normal video today. I want to briefly talk about the content creator Sneeko and ask YouTube to ban him from the platform. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey, this is not going to be a normal video today. I want to briefly talk about the content creator Sneeko and ask YouTube to ban him from the platform. I showed you that video the a few, uh, like about a week ago. If you haven't seen it already, let me bring it up. Hey, this is not going to be a. If you haven't seen it already, have a have a look um, at some of the worst that uh, YouTube has to offer. Um, not Nick himself, but like the people that he, the person he was talking about. So he was like talking about a guy making like sexual assault, like wishing de sexual assault upon another YouTube creator for like making a video on YouTube. Like, quite, quite literally, I watched the video that Sneeko responded to, and you should as well, and it doesn't even mention him from my memory. It's like the most, like, snowflake shit I've ever seen.
Think about how many teenage girls are currently watching this guy's video and thinking like, Oh my god, my hero. This dude is a glorified tattletale. He's saying like, um, uh, this guy, I don't like him, so we should ban him. You suck, big dog. I gotta say, I am so sick of what is currently happening on the internet where the culture is like literally shifting toward deplatforming everybody. This was not the case even as little as like three or four years ago online. Like people were not getting banned or people weren't... Just want to point out here as well, like, this is, I talk about cognitive dissonance a lot. And I just want to point out the cognitive dissonance in this. The cognitive dissonance is, people are being, people, um, I don't like be, the idea of being platform, deplatformed, right? And the conflicting, um, Part of that statement is that we're talking about people who are calling for rape and who are, like, making money off of, um, like, vulnerable men, um, misandrists who are, like, taking advantage of, uh, people, of men who, like, have low self-esteem. Like, we're talking about people who are damaging towards people, creating, um, instances of stochastic terrorism, even. We're talking about very problematic people. And when you talk about specific cases in that sense, they can't argue with that because in their minds, sexual assault is wrong and calling for sexual assault is wrong. But at the same time, deflat platforming is wrong. Like that's the cognitive dissonance there. And they get around that by not focusing, like for once, not focusing on individuals at the end of the day. Um, I need I need a new freaking belt thing because it keeps on like riding down. But like the the thought terminating cliche that it, that he brings in is like, oh, that that it's just cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture, blah 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 blah. This 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 way of talking about issues without having to deal with the actual nuance involved in talking about these issues. It it uh, it basically like just blur you know when you sort of like blur your eyes so you can't read like that's what it does but in your head pushing for people to get banned in the same way that they are now and I don't like it I really don't just to kind of refresh your memory as to how foreign of a concept deep platforming was three or four years ago let's take a trip down memory lane remember four years ago when Logan Paul showed a dead suicide victim in one of his vlogs nobody thought that was cool everybody thought that was disgusting some of you guys might even be too young to remember this but Logan Paul who used to be a very popular vlogger and now yeah, and a lot of people still think that he shouldn't be on the platform because of that. Nothing's changed. Now kind of runs his podcast. Decided like, during the height of his vlogging career to as well, take a trip like, to Japan. This is, this is, yeah, Noah Samson got, got, got some good shit. I want to watch that video later as well, but like, I haven't watched it yet. But like, dude, you're literally just saying your, this is a self-defeating argument here. He's re he just pointed out someone who did some shit and got didn't get fucking any. There were no ramifications for the shit he did. This is not. We're not talking about real people here. We are. Well, stop. Stop. Right, right, right. Hold on, I need to do this thing. I need to do this thing. I need to somehow figure out a way to make this a hotkey. I don't know how to do it, but figure video. Okay. So, there we go. Stop thinking that your favorite YouTuber internet personality is a real person. They aren't a real person. I am not a real person. You do not know me as a person i this is a parasocial relationship stop thinking about logan paul as a person he is a product he is an advertisement for his company the company which is probably like i'm not talking about like you know real proprietary limited company i'm talking logan paul as you see him online, is not the Logan Paul that 
gets up and posts online. The product is what you see. You do not see the person. The person is irrelevant. Stop judging your favorite YouTuber, streamer, whatever, the same way you would judge your best friend. Because they're not your best friend. They, this is not a real thing. They are not real people. We are not real people. Stop it. Stop looking at things like this. This is the worst way to look at drama videos, is to consider, like, people to be, like, the same as your best friend. And, like, you can't, you can't judge people based on that shit. It's stupid. Absolutely. Anyway, let's get back to the stupidity. And, ...and visit the Japanese suicide forest, a forest where a lot of people in Japan went to commit suicide. While he was filming... Mm -hmm. Your best friend is not making money from being your best friend, okay? There is a fucking huge difference. He came across a dead body of presumably a suicide victim and recorded it for YouTube. That's, I think, probably the worst thing that somebody on this website has done. So I wanted to remind all of you of that. Now, remember back in 2018 or 2019 when this happened? Do you remember what people were saying about him? They were calling his actions disgusting. They were saying that he was a gross human. They wanted him and they were to saying lose subscribers. They wanted they, him to be... And they, were, and they wanted him to be kicked off the platform looked at differently by the public, you know, lose respect, lose a fan base, all that stuff. And listen, completely rightfully so. But I went back to 2018 to see what people were exactly saying. So I looked at three major videos talking about the Logan Paul situation. I looked at Critical's video, Cody Ko's video, and PewDiePie's video. And I watched all of these videos about some drama. Yeah, because Pew PewDiePie is going to have like a really unbiased fucking view of said ship online. Sure, buddy. Okay. Okay, buddy. What the fuck? Drama that took place three or four years ago, and I watched very carefully. I was very attentive while watching because I wanted to oh, see you if throughout any of these videos they mentioned anything about deep platforming, and none of them did. Not any one of these videos said that Logan Paul should be banned off YouTube. And I th so based on three content creators, um, I don't know who the other two are. Uh, but I am very aware of PewDiePie. PewDiePie. I, I just lost the ability to speak for a second there. I apologize. Yeah, okay, buddy. That's exactly right. That's exactly my thoughts. Okay, buddy. But, like, you, you just picked up... You just picked three, like, YouTubers who, like, said some stuff. Or is he just angry that YouTubers are, do, are calling for deplatforming? You know, maybe, like... If you're feeling like this is happening more, maybe it's because people are just fed up with this shit. Maybe people are just sick of people not people just doing this shit. Maybe people are just sick of it. Maybe people want better from their content creators. Maybe people deserve better from the content creators that they watch. I don't think I can do this one. I'm gonna believe. It's yeah. It's it's just it's just ridiculous. I think Fucking that hell. kind of gives me the best perspective as to how much things have changed. Because nowadays we have people calling for the deep platform. Because you watch three videos of th three of your favorite fa favorite video creators, one of them who has had his own probably like bannable shit in the past as well, like. You want to talk about who you're using as your sources, mate? Because, uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. Sherman. Sherman, Sherman. Are you watching Be Hopping? I'm watching, uh... A Cheeto. ...of individuals on the internet that they just don't like. Which leads me to what we're talking- I'm sorry, like, and this is, this is the cognitive dissonance here. This is the reframing of the argument to something which is, like, easier to tackle. Because, like, if he was... G yeah, that that is surf. I don't know what that means. But, like... 
Oh, you mean like what someone's watching or playing? I don't know. Um, we're not, nobody's talking about like banning people uh, because they don't like them. That, that's just not true. That is literally the straw man argument against this shit. Like, that is the definition of a straw man argument. He's basically created his own, um, his own... Shit. Ah, Counter-Strike. Of course, of course, of course it's Counter-Strike. Sorry. No shade to anyone here who likes playing Counter-Strike, but, like, it's kind of the same as, like, uh, Roman Boost, you know? People who are into Romans a little bit too much. It tends to happen with people when people are into um, uh, this shit as well. I found, but yeah, back to what I was talking about. Like, if he was going to argue against um, Nick is not green trying to get um, Sneeko banned for uh, like making fun of sexual soul. And uh, implying that um, the that a con another content cr can, a content creator needed to be sexually assaulted, um, then he would need to justify that, uh, which he can't. So instead, he will uh, try and justify it on the base it justified on the basis that you shouldn't uh, deplatform anyone it's like it's the m free speech crowd the people that use m free speech um to argue for like horrific fucking acts um and then don't understand when people uh think call them a fucking asshole for it and it's just like oh you don't believe in freedom of speech it's like that's not the issue here nobody's fucking arguing about freedom of speech like we're talking about a real fucking issue here sit sit down Sit down and shut up. This is nothing to t this, this. This is beyond to you. Obviously. Talking about today, we're talking about Nick is not green and Sneeko. Now, you guys know that I don't like Nick is not green. We've had some beef in the past, but I also don't like his content very much. And that's not because I don't like him. I actually disliked his content before I disliked him. And then there's Sneeko. Now, Sneeko has been on YouTube for ages. He's been around since like 2014 or 2015. His main channel videos vary in terms of what they're about, but most of them are him IRL either interviewing people for his one minute podcast series or getting really philosophical answering or talking about deep topics. And then his second channel, which recently exploded in popularity earlier this summer, is Schneeko. Schneeko is basically Schneeko reacting to Wonder content on a live playing. stream and having his editor. You know, like knowing these, pe these content creators, they've probably just stolen it from someone else. To be honest. ...clip it up and post it as a video to his channel, and he has rapidly grown in size due to this content. He went from 100,000 subs earlier this year, now to sitting at around 740k subs. Now, the content on this channel is definitely, I guess you could say, controversial. It's only really considered controversial because a majority of Sneeko's takes that are shared in these videos are right-wing, or challenge the status quo in some way. I'm not like a di- Sneeko? called, implied that another content creator, female content creator, needed to be sexually assaulted. Live. Like, this is fucking stupid. What the fuck? I hard Sneeko fan or anything. Oh, I yes. Like mm, a lot yes. of his older videos on mm, yes. Very, very controversial. Mm, mm, oh, yes. Quite controversial. Like, that's, that's, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, and if you don't disagree, then you're a fucking disgusting person. His main channel, the video he made called How People View You, I think is a great video that he made. I, I really liked it. But yeah, going back to what I said, his newer stuff is deemed fairly controversial, and I guess it seems a little too controversial for some folks, like Nick is not green. Now, I'm just going to be straight up right off the bat. I don't fucking like... Uh, is he actually going to, like, address anything? Like, other than just, like, talk about things... This is what they do. They they claim it's all just a joke. It's all it's all just a joke. Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad at just a joke? Um, they all do that. Ah, I'm not sure if they're going to hit the surf. This guy, 90% of the content that he makes only exists to pander to his young teenage girl audience. Now, I get pandering to some extent. I used to do it all the time when I was making videos talking about Dream. I 
So, so it's okay for Sneeko to pander to an incel community, but not okay for someone else to like have a target audience. Is that, is that too much for you? Is that too much for you? Like, this is this is this is weird. Girls watch surf. What? Oh, Sherman. Um, I don't know if you've got sound, but we're talking about what he's saying rather than the uh, video. I don't. I. Too much for Z-Block. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, I don't know, um, I don't know Command and Conquer. I used to have to pretend that I, like, supported Dream's actions because I was getting a lot of subscribers from the MCYT community. So I understand the headspace that Nick is in when he makes videos like he does. But the stupid shit that he says in his videos has finally come back to bite him because today, he made a video called YouTube Should Ban Sneeko. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Seriously. This is like some internet hall monitor tattletale shit, dude. You see some guy on the internet that you don't- Mate. What are you, a fucking bootlicker? This is the kind of person who gets surprised when, like, he calls the cops, um, after getting robbed and the cops don't do fuck all. You know what I mean? As somebody who's never actually, like, experienced any sort of, like, injustice at the state- at the hands of the state. Someone who actually believes in the rule of law and shit like that. When it suits them, of course. When it doesn't suit them, it's- 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 it's evil and- and, you know, woke. But, like, when it does suit them, you know. It, it it it's it's kind of telling these these sorts of people. It's it's kind of funny. Don't like for whatever reason, and you take it upon yourself to make a video saying that YouTube, the company, should step in and delete his channel. Like, bro, yeah. you're a commentary YouTuber. If you don't like somebody, right, in this case, Sneeko, make a video talking about why you don't like him. At least that's what ninety percent of the commentary genre. But like, YouTube is allowing like people to like create stochastic terrorism on their platform. Sit down. You don't understand what's going on, buddy. Sit down, come on. Yeah, inciting violence is not acceptable. Like, that, that's, that's, that's against TOS, and, uh, and YouTube consistently, like, turns a blind eye to all of these creators, like Steven Crowder and, like, people like that. These people who don't, who, who don't seem to care about the uh, shit that they're spreading online. It's, it's kind of gross, really. It's, it's really gross that this shit is allowed. And YouTube is allowing it to happen. So the only thing, the only recourse that there is right now is to get on YouTube's ass <coughs> as a people and say, hey, yo, um, you're allowing a lot of fucked up shit to go on in the background, aren't you? And then, you know, go, going from there, <clears throat> Pardon me. But yeah, no, just sit down, shut up, and and hope that uh, that uh, da Daddy Corporation does it for you. Fuck so. Would have and Fuck should have done here. in this situation. That's what we do. We critique people, just like how oh, I'm yes, doing to you critique. at this moment. Even yeah, and how effective is that going to be? Tell me, tell me, like, come back to me in a week's time and tell me like how how that's changed shit. No, I think your content is shit, and I think the fact that you tried to put me on blast on your Twitter was gay. I'm not sitting here trying to get you deplatformed, because- <laughs> This guy's from 2012. Hey, I have a life, <laughs> right? I don't have to spend my time thinking about who I want oh to get banned my off gosh. the fucking inner- Oh, this, your shit is so fucking gay. <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> Imagine thinking that calling someone gay is still an insult in today's day and age. What a fucking idiot. Internet. Two, I think it sets a bad precedent for content creators who want to make videos on the internet. They shouldn't have to worry about Nick is not green making a video at Yeah, they should. They should worry about like, talking about, like, <laughs> talking about sexual assault and shit. What the fuck? Asking YouTube they should to worry about that shit. The they should be worried about breaking terms of service and all that sort of shit. Not, not, put, not pulling off, like, stochastic terrorism. Like, fucking, they should, you should be fucking worried about it. You should be deplatformed for that. You know, like, there shouldn't be, like, a system which allows this shit in the first place, but that's another conversation entirely. ...website, and then Nick's retarded oh, fan base going to their channel and flagging oh. all their videos. Three, I think you have to be morally bankrupt to... I don't... I don't think that these guys still existed. Oh my gosh, they're coming out of the fucking... They're coming out of the paperwork. Seriously. I haven't heard this kind of, like... Like, people talk... Yeah, I haven't heard people like this talking... For like, 
I haven't heard this sort of shit since 2012. This is amazing. This is like a time machine. Yo, yo, dude, your insults are old. Get new ones. <gasps> to try to literally get this guy. Fuck, I'm 32, and I and I know what the kids are saying these days. My gosh, man. He's probably nostalgia uh, clicks. His channel <laughs> removed when you know that that is how he makes his living. Sneeko openly admits that YouTube is the only thing he really knows how to make money off of. And you could say that's his fault, but it's working for him. He's making Rhino. a lot of money off X66. YouTube, and he's living off of it. Nick obviously knows this and still yeah. decides to think, Huh, okay, I don't like this guy, and well, uh... You should not... Wait. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait rewind, him. rewind. That's like if you're working... I think I, mis I misunderstood this this argument, but like, if he's saying what I think he's saying. He's making a lot of money off YouTube, and he's living off of it. Nick obviously knows is the only thing he really knows how to make money off of. And you could say that's his fault, but it's working for him. He's making a lot of money off YouTube. Yeah, so... People should not be able to make money off of instigating violence, like inciting violence on people and spreading hate speech. There you go. Your argument's destroyed. Facts and logics, bitch. And he's living off of it. Nick obviously knows this and still decides to think, Yeah, he should. Huh, okay, I don't like this guy, and, well, uh, they ban him. That's like if you're working an actual job with somebody, and the person that you're working with is a father, you know, getting his money to pay for his bills and support his family. But one time you heard this dad make an edgy joke at the workplace. No. No, it's not. It's like someone working in a advertising company and putting hate against gay people in everything that he makes at that advertising company. They would like that they, they would get fired for that. You're you have Is this a real person? This isn't you just said that Sneeko's job is what he does, right? He's literally getting paid to make reactionary content, just like you. If you worked at an advertising firm and used hate speech and slurs in all of your material that you provide to clients, not only would like your clients not want to buy shit from you, but you would get fired for that shit. And rightly so. This is the dumbest argument ever. So you decide to tell your boss and try to get him fired. That is fucking pathetic. I made a video a while ago critiquing a Yeah. Yeah, with hate speech inciting violence. That's probably yeah, no, that's what I meant by counter strike, actually. Like I remember like the the sort of like I, I mean like I'm not no no shade against people who play counter strike, honestly. I, it's more of a joke saying like it's like joking about Halo Halo uh two um online um, multiplayer. You know what I mean? Yeah, my hack size. Hack size, dear. A live streamer by the I name roll of Beast for the, on mocking the Christianity later. on the day of Easter. And in that video, I said some things that I regret. And I actually ended up deleting that video because it sounded like to a lot of people that I was trying to deplatform Weast. And that is, of course, what I was not trying to do. So, because I care so much about not doing that, I deleted the video. And I DM... Good for you, buddy. Wait, isn't... Wait, this is that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's a thing. What's it called? What's it called? What do they call it? Oh, oh, they call it, um... Mm, virtue signaling! That's virtue signaling! You're doing the thing that you hate! ...damned Weast himself an apology. And guess what? I don't even like Weast. I still think he's an asshole. But that is how anti-deplatforming I am. I will literally take down a video where it sounds like I'm trying to deplatform somebody, even if I really hate the person that I'm making a video on. Sounds sounds like you have a high opinion of yourself, mate. But Nick is not green will publicly make a video titled Sneeko yeah. should be banned off YouTube. Like, Good. bro, stop. But yeah, we're gonna actually no. watch no. this video today and just look at how bad it actually is and see Ooh, React within a React within a React What reasoning Nick gives what, for why we should ban Sneeko. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna keep this video really short because I just wanna say my piece and give Sneeko and his fans as little ammunition to fire back as possible because we know that every time someone utters his name on YouTube, he feels the need to make five videos crying about women and society or whatever. Okay, so Sneeko has like never done this. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. When people make videos on Sneeko- He's literally like, done this with multiple creators now. Like, what are you talking about?
He makes five videos to respond to them and he complains about women in society. No, he doesn't. Like, I'm on Sneeko's channel right now, his second channel, right? And I don't see a single thing. Like, what are you talking about? And before we begin, I do want to say that most of the time I don't about? believe that deplatforming someone is the proper way to deal with a controversy. A lot of times creators that I disagree with on a personal level are mostly oh, harmless yeah. and I don't believe that disagreeing with I wasn't expecting the react within a react within a react, honestly. Like that was this this is this is just this 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 um it is a gift it's a gift someone's personal values are ground for removal from youtube or twitch or any other social media platform in general policing content can be dangerous but as you're about to see sneeko has grossly violated youtube's terms of service and qualifies for removal from the website okay so first of all nick says that he doesn't like to de-platform people or that he thinks it should be like a last resort or something like that this is a lie okay nick has a record of calling for people to be de-platformed or celebrating yeah, yeah, and every single time he's called for that, it's been fair enough. Like, these people are breaking terms of service and YouTube has been doing nothing. Like, focus on the actual shit. Don't, don't just put it, my freedom of speech, my, my, my deep platforming, oh! My gosh, like, deep platforming, that's such an old term in and of itself. How old is this guy? Is he like 40? Celebrating people's deplatforming. So for him to say like, oh yeah, you know, deplatforming, I don't really agree with it. That's just not true. He calls Your for personal it often. Values is too he was completely to okay Twitch. with Jadeon being deplatformed off of Twitch after uh, the whole Pokemon drama. Keep in mind, yeah. the thing that got Jadeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um like he he fucking harassed another streamer. Wait, I don't get these people. Like it's like they can close their eyes the shit that goes on right in front of them. I, I don't get it. Can somebody explain it to me? Like, why people are so okay with, like, awful shit happening to other people? But as soon as you talk about deplatforming, oh, I'm a deplatforming! Oh, you can't take my, my, my ill-gotten gains from me! And I would have gotten it away with it too if it wasn't for that damned Nick! Unbanned off of Twitch permanently was the fact that he had his chat Ubu spam joystick. at L plus ratio hey. in Pokemane's chat. Like, Check a it complete out. nothing burger. Wah! But of course, Nick is not green, goes on to his channel to say that, yeah, that's misogynistic. Yeah. It's, you know, you're targeting female streamers, all that bullshit. He's just reading Full the script. In that video head. where he wait, supports. Wait, the okay, okay, okay. So, like, his, his response, his response right now was to, to the actual issue. This guy, again, Nick, show throttle. I did, I did. But, like, his whole argument against, like, the fact that Sneaker was calling for a sexual assault against another, another um, uh, cr content creator was just reading the script. So, that's it, then. That's it, then. Con confirmed. This this guy, this guy stands, a, che a Cheeto, a Cheeto, 295k subscribers stands sexual assault against other content creators. I mean, like... This, 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 this doesn't, uh, seems pretty, uh, blatant. Like, okay, well, at least we've got one that's really, really ready to admit the fucking shit, that the horrible shit that they believe in. Jeez. Just wasn't expecting it, you know what I mean? I wasn't expecting, like, them to, him to actually admit that he wants to see, like, violence on other people. That's, that's, that's fucked. Holy shit. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck. What can you say? What can you even say to that? Other than, holy shit. Like, okay. So you have no problem with uh, someone calling for sexual assault on another person? Oh, no, it's just a joke. It's just like, if your friend is making a joke to you in the corridors, man, like, like if, you, if your friend's over, right? And you're just chatting and having some fun and they get they maybe say they say drop an F slur or something. How many people heard that? Two people? Maybe a roommate heard it? Maybe nobody like was hurt at that point, because like who who is a fuck? Like let's forget about, you know, the normalization of rhetoric um for a second and just talk about like right then and there, no one was hurt by that. Okay? When someone with millions of subscribers and hundreds and like, you know, th I don't know how many fucking thousands of uh, people watch Sneaker on Twitch, um, 
see a man online making jokes about having about other content creators that they don't like being raped do you think that that might cause a bigger problem than you and your mates just joking around stop treating content creators as if they are your friends they are not your friends they are not real people you have a parasocial relationship and the fact that you're a youtuber creating content and you don't seem to get this about yourself is fucking scary holy shit Neon's ban on Twitch, he also goes on to shit on Ninja for some reason. Now, he didn't expressly say that Ninja should be deplatformed, but in a video like that, I think it just came across a certain type of way. And knowing Nick's history, it could easily be interpreted that Nick would want Ninja to be banned on Twitch. But more recently, he has a video called Snowy Joe's newest video should get him banned off YouTube. Snowy yeah. Joe is a troll YouTube. Yeah, and Snow Snowy Joe, like, uh, breaks terms of service uh, consistently and is not getting uh, taken off of YouTube. That's a problem. That's a fucking problem. And you and you can be okay with that being a thing that happens. But other people aren't. Some people want to experience life in the internet without having to like be shat on for like things that they can't change about themselves. And I'm willing to bet anything that you don't really understand that concept. You'll probably say, oh, everyone gets bullied, blah, 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 it's just this, there's that. No. No, you haven't been bullied, man. You haven't been bullied. Not to the extent that um, people who are, have, like, a history of racial abuse against them, who have a history of uh, LGBTQAI plus exclusion in their, hi in, in their lives. Like, but you don't really get it. And it's obvious when these people talk that they don't get it. Tuber who makes videos similar to Judeon in some capacity, and uh, Nick, I guess, didn't like that. So he wants to ban him too. And then, of course, hey, just like everybody me. else, <laughs> Nick was hopping Woo! on the ban Andrew Tate, ban Andrew Tate bandwagon, which, I mean, I don't know. Everybody was saying that, Puppies so I'll cut him chat. some slack, Woo! but still, uh, just more more of Nick being like, ban everybody. So for Nick to sit <laughs> here and say that. Yeah, that, and that's it, that's it. Like, again, we get that thought terminating cliche. That he doesn't support deep Like, I mean, like, the thing, the, the interesting thing about this guy, he's so far along is that he doesn't actually consider like um hate speech against trans people and um encouraging people to uh to like snowy joe encouraged raids against and used raids against um on, like he made money getting by using his community to raid smaller transgender streamers and other minorities he was making money from attacking minorities and you can call that a joke and i think it's i think it's great i think it's great that uh oh that was community subs yay like you can i think that's great that you can grow up um, without having experienced anything to that degree. I think that that's really, I think, I honestly, I don't wish that upon anybody, even you, um, person who created this video, uh, whose name I can't remember right now. Cheetos, a Cheeto. Um, but that shit hurts people. I mean, not me, like, people have tried raiding me and, like, bothering me before. Like, it doesn't bother me until they start bothering other people in my chat, because then I'm just like, heck. Suckers. You're helping me create content. <laughs> but yeah, um... That was against Twitch and YouTube Terms of Service. Like, profiting off of hate speech is against Terms of Service. It's not the wild fucking west out here. This is like... This is, this is not okay. Um, even the First Amendment in your country does not protect you from uh, inciting violence and uh, using hate speech against minorities. It, it, it doesn't. 
platforming is demonstrably false. Now, I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but if you don't already know who Sneeko is, he is a gaming and commentary content creator who continues to spread extremely harmful messages to a rapidly growing audience, usually violently ranting about women, politics, or men wearing makeup. He's sort of like the new Andrew Tate now that he's not on the platform anymore. He was recently banned off Twitter and now has two channel strikes on YouTube, but I'm not. I love that. I love that one though. That was that 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 shade. That shade was fucking amazing. I love it. I loved how it was just like, yeah, it's basically the new Andrew Tate and like Snake has been around for ages. He did that on purpose. I wonder if uh, Achino is going to get offended by that because that'd be fucking hilarious. Not exactly sure what the reason for that is. Now, a little over a month ago, Sneeko went on his live stream to talk about one of my friends, Chad Chad, who gave me permission to make this video, but had no part in the creation of it, and it wasn't her idea or suggestion for me to make this. He reacted to a video she made about a TikTok dating coach, and I'm just gonna play the video here so nothing can be left out of context, but I am gonna issue a huge content warning for sexual assault, so if that's something that you're uncomfortable with in any way, I would leave the video now. You know what's so funny about the- I won Oh, he left it. Oh, oh, no, he didn't. So I, I, I wasn't sure whether Achido would uh, leave the video or not because, you know, we're still not sure if he's uh, uncomfortable or not with uh, discussing sexual assault against women. The internet. Whether he thinks that's cool. It and hides the fact, and like this feminist garbage hides the fact that she's attracted to that guy making the videos. It is what it is. Girls, you could vouch for it. You it's know just it's a joke. She would. In she 10 would. seconds. You know, sister was so predictable. You could tell by the way she's talking that she hasn't been properly mm -mm in a long time. It's been a while. So she's on the internet making this garbage she, video. It's just a joke. Feminist garbage to your fucking lonely girls in the comment section. What you really need, Chad Chad, is some. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, shut up. Shut up with your feminism. He was reacting to a video about, like, internet trends and wasn't anything about the Manosphere or Sneeko. There was, like, a mention of Andrew Tate in the video, which was one of the funniest Andrew Tate, Tate jokes I've ever heard. Spugatti! Like, like a baby Andrew Tate asking for food. He'd be looking for Spugatti! That'd be awesome. Yeah, come that here. was funny. Come here. I found it funny. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. And she's gonna go, ha, ha, ha. That's what you need. You need some sense fuck back into you. And you know what they're going to do right after they did that? They're going to... Yeah. Yeah. From his mouth, he thinks that she needs some sense fucked back into her. Do you think he's going to go out and do that? No. Of course not. Do you think that one of his hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of subscribers might take that seriously? Do you think that maybe a couple of hundred might think it would be funny to try and lol turn her into a lol cow and uh, get her to uh, commit unalive. Do you think that thousands, tens of thousands of his viewers think that it's now funny to joke about fucking the sense back into someone? Like, hey, hey, I want to do an experiment for me right now. Think about someone saying that about your mother or your sister or your significant other, your brother, anyone. Think about how that might make you feel. Yeah. Clip that part and say I'm an incel problematic, but you know it's true. You can hear it in her voice. She hasn't been properly... <clears throat> <clears throat> and too long and now you make no sense that's what happens man that's what happens yo someone vouch for me you know it's true so before nick says anything about that clip i'm gonna share my thoughts yeah sneeko in that clip has clearly gone a little unhinged and that i mean yeah it, it's weird but he's basically talking about this female creator that i guess in his opinion was promoting some third wave feminazi type message it wasn't it had nothing like okay so so too lazy to even watch the video, and Cheeto doesn't even know the video that he was reacting to. Holy shit. And then, of course, he says, you need some sense effed back into you, and then he starts, like, thrusting in his seat. Like, I watched it, and I couldn't tell, like, when there was a point in that video that it mattered, that that, that would have been appropriate. 
Beat there's and, like, grabbing the camera and stuff. It's, yeah, it's weird. So I want to make my position on the clip, like, pretty clear from the jump. I don't support it. But at the end of the day, it's not as bad as people are saying. The big thing that I'm hearing is simulated SA, or that basically Sneeko is pretending to R-word this female content creator. Which I have to ask, dude, if you're pretending to F somebody, how are you going to get pretend consent? Like, how is that even possible? Like, if a guy is making out with his pillow and pretending that it's his crush at school, is he supposed to get consent from the pillow that he's pretending is his crush at school? That's not even possible. Sneeko is pretending to screw this content creator. Spoken with some, uh... You seem, like, way too, uh... knowledgeable about this, this topic, dude. And I think that's weird to just stream that. But by doing that, he's not saying that he's gonna, like, go to this female content creator's house while she's sleeping and then do unspeakable things. Like, it's really not that deep, I feel like. Anyways, let's hear Nick's take on it. Now, I don't think I have to explain why this is disgusting. Sneeko is harassing a female content creator, telling her that the reason why she's so upset is because she hasn't had sex in a while. Nick, you do the same thing, okay? Half the videos on your second channel are you making fun of quote-unquote incels. And the main reason you think that they're cringe is because... I'm, I'm a frequent watcher of uh, Nick is Not Brains, and I can, like, attest that he doesn't, like, incite violence against other creators. He doesn't, like, make sexual assaults. Um, like, he, Sneeko, like, I'd forgotten how bad it was. Sneeko, like, y'all heard it with me right then. Sneeko just, like, fucking completely and utterly called for the sexual assault of this woman. She He said that she she needs to be raped. Like, that's what he fucking said in in his video. Um, caught in 4K, so to speak, or like in 10, like maybe 480, 480p. It looks like from his camera. Is there angry? But like, there is a big. If you think that that's the same as making fun of people whose um, worldview is shaped by the fact that women uh, find them detestable and then, like, the result of that is them finding new ways to make women find them detestable, then I think that's a... That, I think that says more about you than it does about incels, honestly. At the end of the day, uh, log off, mate. <laughs> Seriously. You're, you're you're stretching and like it's interesting to see that he backpedaled there on the sexual assault stuff but he obviously doesn't find it like that big a problem which i guess you do you boo but like hey why don't you uh if you like freedom so much why don't you like uh let you like let people have the freedom to um like deplatform people you know Oh, so you're saying that Nick is not green, is not allowed to uh, call for the deplatforming of anyone? I don't know, that seems, uh, that seems pretty fucking anti-free speech there, buddy. Seems pretty anti-free speech to me. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe you need to ch ch chickety check yourself before you rickety wreck yourself. Just a suggestion game suggestion the world Signing because violence against people is wrong unless they are the bourgeoisie in minecraft it's sex in a while so don't act like what what sneeko is saying is too foreign as to what you're saying in your videos set is because she hasn't had sex he hasn't uh called for the rape of anyone in his videos Oh, wait, was that a gift sub from Sherman? Oh, thank you, Sherman, for the gift subs. I didn't see your... I thanked the wrong person. I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's in a while, and then Yay. he proceeds to aggressively simulate a sexual assault on Chad Chad in his live stream in front of thousands of people. And yeah, he pretended to have sex with her, but, like, he's not assaulting her in his imagination. No, like, look, that's not the pro that's not the problem. It's stochastic terrorism, my friend. Like, you, 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 you log off. This 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 issue is obviously way too, way too like, big for you to handle like mentally. <laughs> this is this is this is this is like you're struggling with this. I can tell. Just log off. Jeez. I, I don't even know how to argue with this because it's like, how do you distinguish when you're...
I'm not surprised! You're thrusting the air, pretending that you're thrusting a girl. How Info are you supposed to terrorism. distinguish between yeah. consensual thrusting an imaginary girl or unconsensual thrusting an imaginary girl? Like, I don't know. I guess I love I love how like his he can't he can't come up with an argument against the fact that he's inciting violence against a woman. Um, and the 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 only response is uh, oh he's actually doing it himself. Uh, so that makes it okay. Um, no, okay. Like I get I guess this guy would be like one of the people who thinks that the January six um bullshit. Uh, wasn't the fault of the people uh, that uh, <laughs> that uh, went to the January 6th stuff. Like that, there wasn't what well, had it, Trump had nothing to do with that. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we all know that Trump Trump didn't know it. Trump had nothing to do with that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Trump 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 Trump, Trump didn't do that. Trump didn't do any of that. What are you talking about? You're crazy, You're crazy. Oh, I'm gonna gaslight you. Oh, fucking hell! What a piece of shit. But yeah, amazing. Just fucking amazing. I said, there are creators who I disagree with, and then there are people like Sneeko who actively threaten other creators on YouTube, spread hate speech, and overall make YouTube a less enjoyable and more dangerous place for everybody who's on it. Okay, so like at this point, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, hate speech. Bro, you made like a video on Balin Levine, a vlogger, who only spreads positive messages, and you're shitting on him because you think it's cringe that he's vlogging in his, in his 20s. What the fuck are you smoking when you say hate speech, dude? You're a hypocrite. Not to mention that this clip... How is that hypocritical? What? Does does, does he? Uh... What the fuck are you messages and you? How how long is this video? It's fourteen minutes. Twenty year old, is epic. Twenty year old does still does pranks on YouTube. Twenty year old still. Does pranks on YouTube. Let's just like quickly browse through this one. I didn't know if I could say it in reference to him saying it, or if I shouldn't say it. Okay, I wasn't gonna say it. I was just wondering. Make videos. People don't like my film. They tell me to turn off that. What is the pre-signed nation? Welcome back to another video. Today, Chloe says hi, Nick. There's a YouTuber named Balin Levine who makes prank videos of his pranks or him and his friends harassing people in public. So I know. Sorry about I the fast speed. I just want to brush run through it quickly. Okay, so they're funny because right yeah, pretty, not, not Oh, they make fun of his accent. Back there. Oh, imagine us side by side working it up. What is it? It's the new merch available. Right on. Yeah, that's funny. So it's funny because um he doesn't have a very normal like he doesn't have a very regular American accent because he's from a different country. So like if they make the if they do the subtitle where uh, I track motorsports. Where I track He just yells so much. Okay. What's the part where he Why are we even watching this guy? Okay. Good. Um we're a little lost. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You can tell that they're supposed to be wearing masks because his friends wearing a mask and the two ladies working up a big plastic barrier and they want the masks on. I distracted. Yeah. The big building. Platform nine and three quarters. Okay, okay sweet, thank you. Do you want me to walk you over? Nah, we'll be good. We're big boys. Thank you though. I'm telling you, if you walk in a place confidently and fucking Captain Jack's barrier way in it, they will not question it. Dude. Just like we snuck in the hotel. Yeah, live life a little bit. Jump. They just talk. Key. Okay, sorry, my bad. No way, what's What? Why? Why did he just laugh that off? We used to not know the boundaries. We put a dead fish on a girl's face. Yeah, what a prank, man. What an awesome prank. What are you listening to? Um, no, Bunny. Oh, damn. Hey, she's good too. Hey, sorry, my bad. <laughs> no way, what's up, bro? So, I don't, but you're fucking tall. I feel like a midget. You're 6'6? Yeah, bro. Yo, he feels like a freaking. Can I even. Say, I know that you're not supposed to say that, but like, is it like a slur? Like, should I. Hey! What's that? Yeah, why would I not be from Tampa? Tampa native. I'm a Tampa Bay stand. Are you feeling? Are you feeling? What a bad creator in person. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's just, I don't like watching him. It reminds me of just like 14 year olds being annoying, like trying to make their friends laugh and trying and thinking that they're the center of the world. And funny enough, you're not the center of the world. Because watching some UFC and you bear some resemblance to Paulo Costa. Oh, yeah, I look just like him. I wish I looked like him. Jesus. You know how much money I'd pay if I could switch bodies with this man? God dang. I'd say I bear some resemblance to him. So, people are saying one more. Let's so I'm not gonna watch throughout the whole video, like. Post on my main channel. And thank you very much. And my headphones are awesome. Watch another one, but thank you for watching the video on the Green Designer channel. Please subscribe. For yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look to me like. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry. I was just, I was just browsing through that to see if there was any hit, him calling out like the guy for doing hate speech, um, which he wasn't. So I don't know, like, why he's pulling up a video which doesn't prove his point. <laughs> well, you're shitting on him because you think it's cringe that he's vlogging in his in his twenties. Yeah, yeah. What, that has nothing to do with, um, Sneeko, like, calling for rape. What the fuck are you smoking when you say hate speech?
He didn't say hate speech in that video, as far as I know, but like, I'm sure you're going to show receipts. So maybe I'm wrong. I'll take the L on that if I'm Dude, wrong. Dude, you're a hypocrite. Not to mention that this around harassment. YouTube has banned creators even recently for much less, and I think that this is an obvious instance of a creator who is now causing more harm by existing on this site. And this isn't even about free speech. This is about taking action when a content creator spreads messaging like this, and I think YouTube would agree that someone like this definitely does not belong on their platform. If you watch this video and you also believe that Sneeko should be banned from YouTube, you can go to his channel pages, click about, and then click the flag icon on the right side of the page and report the user. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And just like that, the video ends. He literally instructs his fan base to go flag Sneeko. I don't know if I've yeah. seen a video this bad in a while. Uh, dude, come on. This is completely and utterly spineless of you, and I think it's just, it sets a Ow. horrible standard for YouTube creators. Basically, the dude that was on Balin's ass made a video about our best friend, Sneeko. Apparently, it's an exp I, don't, I don't know. Let's see. Hey, this is not going to be Wait. a normal. Wait, who's this? Who's this? Who, who's, who's this streamer? I don't I don't recognize this streamer. I'm not big on streaming. On unlike who streamer streamers are. Like this guy's friend, best friends for Sneeko. Video today, Cringe. I want to briefly talk about the content wait, creator wait, Sneeko. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even read the title chat. YouTube should ban Sneeko. Yeah, we're we gonna make videos on YouTube to tell YouTube to ban certain people. Like. What is this yeah. platform coming to? Like, bro, well, don't get me wrong. Yeah, like, YouTube isn't doing it. So, someone needs to fucking speak out about it. What? what? Like, I, I don't know why, why people, why, like, people are so fucking shocked by this sort of fucking conversation. Like, this shit is fucking bad. Stop it. Get some fucking help. Wrong, man. I know Sneeko says the dumbest stuff. Trust me. I talk to him on like a every other day basis. I know. But we can't be sitting up here f making, asking you. Bro, this is, this is hall monitor energy. And I literally don't agree with 80, 90% of what Sneeko says. And this is so corny. Hey, this is not going to be a normal video today. I want to briefly talk about Wait, so the content gonna creator watch... Sneeko. Wait. Wait, is this a new video or is he just going to, is he just like showing someone else's reaction to it? Wait. Wait! Is he just... Is he literally gonna say, this person agrees with me, therefore, like, I'm right? Is that, is that what the, is that the purpose of this? Wait, come on. Come on, you're not that cringe. He's not that cringe. Fucking hell. Oh my gosh, this is the cringest YouTuber, I swear. Oh, and ask YouTube to ban him from the platform. I'm this, I wanna ask YouTube to ban him. Like, Susan, can you please ban Sneeko? This is weirdo activity. I'm gonna keep this video really short because I just want to say my piece and give Sneeko and his fans as little ammunition to fire back as possible because we know that every time someone utters his name on YouTube, he feels the need to make five videos crying about women and society or whatever. And before we begin, I do want to say that most of the time I don't believe- Then, okay, so if you're acknowledging that he does milk people whenever they talk about him, then why are you talking about him? You know what I mean? You're like, I want to give him as little ammunition as possible. Watch the video. Ammunition. It doesn't matter if you say, oh, I'm going to give the gunman one bullet. You gave him a bullet. The... What? Watch, you said deplatforming someone is the proper way to deal with a controversy. A lot of times creators... JD are what? Jadeon. Jadeon. Isn't he like one of the biggest, biggest fucking streamers? Jadeon is best friends with fucking... Okay. Whatever. Like, I guess... I guess... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if... I guess if you want to associate yourself with that shit... Yeah, cool, like, okay. I mean, like, I don't know, like, who Jadion is as a person, and, like, it's not as if, like, killed by association is gonna tell me anything about him, but that's cringe as fuck, bro. Not you just saying that's cringe as fuck. Society or whatever. And before and we take what you want out of me saying that. Most that, of the time, but, like, I don't believe that deplatforming someone is the proper way to deal with a controversy. You say... <laughs> How much of a... Oh, oh my... Why is oh, that? Is... I don't understand why that's hypocritical. Can someone explain that to me? Like, because he, he literally, he's, he's literally, yeah. Like, most of the time I don't think this. And, okay, why is that a hypocritical thing to say? 
on seriously, every time I've seen Nick is not green call out another stream or streamer, right? Uh, I don't think that Jadeon's like a shitty person. Like, I just think that he's got some shitty fucking thoughts. Like, I think from from what I I I have heard of Jadeon before, and like from what I hear, he is what I would describe. I, I would say the same thing about Jadeon as I would say about um as as Jadeon says about um Sneeko, which is what what I think is fucking wild. That that people's perspectives can be that fucking different. You know what I mean? I think that's fucking wild. Wow. That's in that's crazy. That that's crazy to me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Go to his channel pages, please. click about, and then click the flag icon on the Chat, I want to make this clear, man. What Sneeko did in that clip is wrong. I want to make this point blank and clear. But to go tell people to mass report another channel, this is literally like I don't I don't know if this nigga realizes this, but this nigga as well is fucking breaking TOS. This this is no. this is what I'm afraid is gonna happen. No, that that's that's not breaking TOS. No. It's not harassment to call someone out and tell people how to fucking do it, how to fucking um, flag someone's someone's content for obvious abuse. And if you think that's wrong, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I that's you. That's your L. That's your L. At the end of the day, holy shit, holy shit. If you think that's fucked, oh my gosh, people have fucked in the head. I swear. I don't know what to do with this fucking world, eh? You know? Like... How do people think that this shit is okay? Like, how do people get so fu- their heads so far up that fucking freedom of speech bullshit that they can't see, so it's like, either stochastic terrorism or, like, in the incitement of violence against another creator? Like, this person is inciting violence against another creator in the most literal way, and YouTube is not doing anything. They're calling him, like, we a weasel for this, but literally he is standing up for his fucking friend. I thought you were supposed to respect that shit, dude. I thought that that shit, that standing up for the people that you care about, is something to respect. But are you someone who, fu who fucking pikes out on his friends? Or... Are you someone who sees the bad shit your friends do? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can talk about Sneeko here. Are you someone that sees the shit that he does? And instead of calling him out for it, you just don't? Dude, sounds to me like you're you're pretty you're a fucking weak source, eh? <laughs> like you say you saying that uh, Sneeko's your best friend and you haven't called him out yet on this shit? You haven't even called out your best friend about his like shitty fucking content that he makes? I don't know, it doesn't sound like you're a very good friend to me. Sounds like uh Nick is not green is a much better is a friend that I would much rather have than you. Sounds like you only see friends as people you can farm content from, whereas people like Nick is Not Green and the communities that they run with seem to actually care about, like, each other in some form of way other than, like, how they can, like, make money from each other. Because that's the vibe I'm getting from you. What a... yeah, I don't know, that's fucking weak, dude. Can't comment on your on anything else you've done, but like, hmm. not a friend I want. Shit, dude. If you're if you're if you're the kind of friend that like just doesn't call out toxic behavior in your friends, sounds to me like you're a piece of shit, just as bad as uh, Sneeko at this point. Cool. In the future, glad to get like that we're sorted out. Things Fuck that up. actually aren't a problem. And YouTubers aren't gonna like it, and bigger YouTubers are gonna tell their followers go mass report this creator and get them deleted. This is this is what's right. Like 
that what you're describing there is against te terms of service. But what Nick is not green is not doing is doing right now is not against terms of service because he is calling out someone who is inciting viol sexual violence on another creator. Like you can't you can't argue against that without being for sexual violence against another creator. Like how how. I ask how, but I know the answer to that question, and, like, unfortunately, I know that I sound like a fucking broken record at this point. It is... <sighs> it is cognitive dissonance. It is a thought-terminating cliché that is the freedom of speech. The treatment of the idea of freedom of speech is something which needs to be upheld above any form of decency. Like, it's a religious belief in some in in a form of freedom that in reality no one actually has and no one's actually ever had never been real it's never existed never will exist as a real thing the only freedoms you have are the things that you struggle for this is what you tear from the government that oppresses you setting a precedent for it even though sneeko said some wild ass shit let youtube do their job they're YouTube... not youtube's not doing their job in this case and that's the issue that's the issue that that they haven't done their job and uh, they haven't done their job with a lot of creators and people are starting to get sick of it as they rightly should be when people are flagrantly violating terms of service um, and inciting hate speech and, um, like, stochastic terrorism about people. And I'm not just talking about Sneaker here, I'm talking about people like, um, Stephen Crowder. I'm talking about people that, like, daily, um, incite violence against minorities. And they make money off of it. They make fucking bank. And, um, and YouTube makes bank off it too. YouTube has a responsibility uh, that they're and they they're shirking their responsibilities at the moment. So I don't know how you can talk about it like this, man. Especially when with you calling him like your best friend and not calling out his uh, shitty behavior. You're no best friend of Sneakos. You're just a fucking leech at this point, leeching content. We'll get to it. They already. But that's what we banned. all are. I mean, yeah, he's banned for a week. So obviously they're doing their job and going through his content. Banned for a week. Cool. Yeah. I know by back to and he'll be back to it. Right. Yeah. Ban fucking tastic. Let's just let these let's just slap him on the wrist and let him go on their way. <sighs> yep. We don't need what's his name? How many times has Crowd been we Bad? don't meet Mr. No. Nick is not green to fucking rep bro. We don't you. Do you see where I'm coming from, chat? Yeah. Wait, well, that's the end of the video. So he just so he just basically just posted Jadion's response. Okay. As if as if that spaghetti spaghetti is making you drowsy. Gonna call the night and lie down. All right, you have a good night asleep. Ah. But yeah. It's just fucking disgusting. Okay. You too. Alright, so yeah. Now I wanna have a look at uh, the 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 other one. Kind of now. But how much time do I have? What time does my uh shift start? This guy is interesting, though.
are men the biggest threat to women or are men the biggest protectors of women? These are- Bro, I promise you are neither, okay? Nah, but what's going on, guys? Uh, we're talking okay, about a person who I was gonna cover a while ago after he tried to epically own me on Twitter, which by the way, like we're talking about a guy who is I think 25 or 24. If you still care about ratioing people on Twitter past the age of like 20 and 20 is pushing it, right? Like you need to grow up. Somebody was like talking crap about- Good, that's he? Does he though? You're talking about like uh, him as if like he cares about uh, ratios and stuff, but like I haven't actually seen that on Twitter. So like what? I don't know, man. This just uh, it seems like a bit of cope to me. <laughs> it just sounds like cope. <laughs> <laughs> ratio about me on twitter and this guy uh this what plus sized man decided to chime in for no reason and he said uh really puts the l in leafy clone and i was like bro i don't know who you are <laughs> wait 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 is that a fat joke was that a fat joke <laughs> does this guy really use like gay and fat jokes as in his videos <laughs> as some kind of own Oh my gosh, that's so fucking cringe. I love it. I love it. Far out. I love it. It is a gift. Or you're some grown man in your 20s and you're just like getting off to like just shit talking me on Twitter. I was like, bro, that's pathetic. So I responded bro, to him with, dude, bro, this is how you're spending your 20s. <laughs> Remind me to kill myself if I end up this sad crying emoji. And the whole thing that you're already obviously past your 20s, like with your fucking like ancient ass fucking call was it call of duty no fucking no no crusader kings i don't know what the fuck you're playing like vi like videos in the background like your response videos are ancient this is hilarious calling so like it's, it's oh yeah i get it i get it now i get it now it's projection oh fucking hell why is it always fucking projection all right, I guess we, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, people who make fat jokes against other people tend to be, like, it, like, not necessarily fat themselves, just, like, um, sensitive about their weight and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see, I see where you're going with this one now, but, like, you're really just showing your cards at this point, man made this interaction especially funny was because I was literally engaging with it right after I had gotten home from the gym. So it's like I'm being told that I put the L in Leafy Clone by two- Oh fuck. I fucking just said- I just fucking spoke about how like in, in like- like sensitive this guy must be about their weight and, the, and, and they tried to say coming- I came back from the gym to respond to his Twitter comment. But th this is this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Never stop making content for me, please. Plus size adults who lurk on Twitter and like, I should you not make videos like quote unquote fat phobic comedy is the worst. No bro, the worst is the way you live your life, my dude. Anyways, that's just some background about my little uh, spat with this guy on Twitter before we talk about who he is, you know? So who who is this guy? Who am I talking about? This guy's name is Noah Sampson. And I mean, just by looking at him, you can kind of infer the type of videos he makes. Incel street interviews. Worst incel pickup lines. Incel content is dangerous. Vampire incel? And then who could forget about the best video on this channel? Are straight people okay? Like, bro, you talk like a middle school girl. Like, all your YouTube titles sound like the posts on the Instagram stories of middle school girls. Like, you are not this. grown up. And I don't know if that's- I love like this. I love this. Holy shit. I love this 40-year-old man playing his, like, old, old, old school, like, um... Age of Empires on the screen, like playing Age of, Age of Empires in the videos in the background, uh, while he's popping off about like other people being young and shit, as 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 if that's a fucking own. Holy shit! No substance. Only just only just attacking people. Like calling people who aren't fat fat is kind of like the biggest fucking self report. Like, anyone who's been to high school can tell you, like, the only the people who have, who are wildly insecure about their, um, bodies, like, 
ins- like result to insulting other people's bodies. Like that's just oh that's just fucking beautiful. I I think I just I just I just think it's hilarious. These people are just amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Give like actually how he is or if that's just how he feels like he has to be in order to pander to his like mostly female audience but in both scenarios it's quite sad but i don't even have to explain that to you we're gonna watch some of his videos and you'll see it for yourself so yeah we're gonna watch two videos of his we're gonna watch fat phobic comedy is the worst and then we're gonna watch incel street interviews and uh yeah let's just waste no time incel street interviews and he's flossing right off the bat. What did I say, bro? Not grown up. You see, like, he's 24. He wants to behave like a middle schooler who cares about ratioing and stuff, bro. Like, before I even watched this video, I could tell his mentality. Check out my cat. Check out my This man doesn't understand irony in any sort of way. Holy shit. Holy shit, it's one in the wild. How does this person, like, have viewers? This is, this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Never my stop. Never stop. Check out my mm. cat. Chef's kiss. You, like, what is this? He's talking like a baby. Check out my cat. Check out my cat. Like, bro. Today, we're going to be looking at a YouTube channel called and? It's Complicated Channel. The It's Complicated Channel channel by the way i just want you guys to know i've reacted to some of their videos before and i think it was in my video don't end up like these women where i reacted to one of their videos and you guys seem to like it like it's not a very incel thing to react to i don't understand that but i'm sure noah samson's gonna break it down for us so let's see what he has to say it's one interviewer the same one in each video and he goes to the las vegas strip at night and asks oh, random shit. people various questions about things like dating relationships and gender. At the time of recording, they have about 180,000 YouTube subscribers and fairly consistently break 100,000 views on their videos. Other much larger YouTube channels, often Manosphere or Red Pill adjacent. Bro, oh, come on now. Like, I yeah, I react to some of them. Is he gonna throw up one of my videos? I doubt it, but yeah, two Sneeko videos. Let me know what you guys think about Sneeko in the comments. I'm curious. I think he's entertaining. I think he's a little unhinged, though. Have begun doing reaction videos to their content, and those are getting a lot of views. The late, not so great, Kevin Samuels. What? Bro, this this guy died last year and you're like shitting on him, okay? Was a huge fan of this channel. The guy was a piece of shit. It's like kind of shit on people who are pieces of shit. Fuck. This guy is defending Kevin Samuels and he's like say and and he doesn't yeah, no shit you don't understand what like Manosphere adjacent looks like. Holy shit. Shout out to this complicated channel. Got some great content over there. When does it become harassment? That's why I love the shout out to the It's Complicated channel. I love a lot of the questions that men ask. However, what is, hold on, hold on. Like, are we just going to skip over that, bro? This guy died of a heart attack and you're like shitting good. on his takes post-mortem? Yeah, what? good. That's so like low. Like, by the way, this why? is a guy who's going to complain about fat food. The, guys, the guy was a piece of shit. Why, why should we care? A little bit comedy being hurtful, but at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, the, the people, like, just because someone dies, it means that they, like, can't be criticized? What the fuck? Fuck that guy. No. I'm glad he's dead. Holy shit. Time has no issue just shitting on a guy who died of a heart attack, like, a year ago. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, everybody who thinks this guy has such a good moral compass because he's gonna call fatphobic comedy hurtful and violent or whatever, he's just gonna go and do this and nobody bats an eye? Okay. As you People watch that content because they enjoy laughing at fucking incels, dude. You may have guessed based on the title of my video, or as you hopefully will start to pick up on as we watch, this channel differs from regular street interview channels because this channel has a little bit of an agenda. If women are smarter than men, why do they keep believing men's lies? Oh, just wait for this guy to just not understand any of this shit. And opening their legs. Huh? Why do you think women can't just ignore catcalling instead of just hating on all men? Huh? Why do so many women think they have a golden pussy when every woman has one? Huh? So yeah, bro, add the whole huh? sound five more times, bro. It's really helping me to enjoy your video. Do you think that guys want to submit to a woman? Huh? Or do women want to submit to a alpha male? Huh? Just because women feel off. Uh, uh, just so you know, I get the by feeling. The I get the feeling that this video is going to be even less like substance than the last one somehow somehow this video has even less substance than the last one i looked at holy shit
Hey guys, just for some more context, this guy used to be Noel Miller's editor, or maybe he still is currently, but like, this is the sort of editing we're getting from this guy. Afraid all the time, does that mean they really have a right to be afraid all the time? Sure. When if we look at the reception of this content, we can see that this agenda is being onboarded by the audience. What agenda, bro? Like, they're literally going out to people asking questions and getting honest responses. Content designed Watch to portray video, and foster dude. negative attitudes towards women. No, not all. Oh, oh my god, bro. Like, that's such a little slimy rap like tactic that he does yeah dude these videos exist to make people hate women no they don't bro it's just to like interview people and show people the result of it like that's all it is bro do you think this guy is like sitting at home thinking like yeah i hate women bro i'm gonna go ask people questions i'm gonna go ask women questions because i hate them so much like what that doesn't make any sense and just so you know you can do the same thing with men like if you grow up if you go up to a group of men in a certain area and you ask this guy doesn't understand how to do straight interviews you, you do a bunch of street interviews and you find the ones that fit your fucking, like, target art audience. That's that's how they're done. That's how you work on this shit. You, 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 you specifically, like, pick, like, oh my gosh, there's um, r some really good books out there, I think. I, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but, like, that the, the actually go into the this sort of, like, um... The sort of like looking into how how docu even documentaries tend to like show a particular view of people depending on the bias. Like, do do you not know what bias is, dude? My dude, do you know what do you, do you, do you know what do you know what um like personal biases at this point? Like, I I don't seem like I don't think that this guy really understands what he's talking about. It's like, oh, they're just, they're just street interviews. They're just jokes, man. Oh, they are just jokes. Yeah. Um, what are the jokes saying? Like, what are the interviews saying? Like, they're picking certain things to respond to. Oh, fucking hell. It's really hard to respond to see people who, like, literally just go out of their way to be, um... I don't know, obtuse when it comes to the media that they consume, that we're, we're like, they can actually like just stop thinking about, they, they just turn off their brains or something. I don't know. I don't know what they do. They just turn, they turn off their brains um, and start believing that like nothing means anything uh, when it suits them. But, like, every little, like, thing that this guy, that um, Noah Samson does is apparently, like, him trying to sleep with women. Like, it, that, that, that's, that's, there's a word for that as well. It's called projection. Um, but it's weird that you would cultivate an audience of men who you don't want to sleep with. Weird flex, bro. Um, if that gets you your perfect partner uh let me know um because you know i'd be really i i would be really happy to uh celebrate your success in those endeavors but uh it doesn't seem to me like it is something it, it is a method which is going to bear much fruit in that way uh that might backfire on you like yeah it's kind of obvious what your audience is. Is what I'm questions saying. about men that'll make them look stupid. Yeah, they'll look stupid, bro. I'm not gonna call the people who ask men questions that they yeah. can't answer, like incels against men or something. Like that's so dumb. Putting women in their place and just generally putting women down. Now, if you're someone who watches and enjoys the It's Complicated channel, channel, I'm not here calling you an incel. I mean, yeah, but you did say people who consume it are being affected by a channel who's fostering same guy, ideas same guy. against women. Like that makes no sense, bro. So like you're saying, you know, people are. Are incels but they're not like what are you saying bro i'm not saying that you hate women you might but watching this channel alone doesn't necessarily mean that you do yeah no shit bro but if i've got you here i do want to take this opportunity to talk about why i don't think that's him doing boys, it i'm pretty sure he's stealing other people's content media with a more critical eye especially it's as it pertains to the narratives that we draw from what we are seeing narratives about the nature of 
women, modern females, and other stuff like that. Okay, so this is, I guess, a little bit good because he's being somewhat insightful. Yeah, you should always think about stuff that you see with a critical lens. Like, I I'm obviously very pro-critical thinking, but... You could have edited this and not made yourself look like a complete idiot. You could have edited this, like, so that um, people wouldn't see that you completely misunderstood the content. The fuck is going on? Oh, it's there. Fuck. Like, why didn't you edit this? So, to, 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 oh, for fuck's sake. My, my 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 mouse was going into the top corner of the screen. Like what the fuck? This guy this guy this guy is like an incel king. I swear. Oh man. Is he like he's saying, Oh yeah, dude, I'm so pro critical thinking, but then makes a three-word title, Incel Street Interviews. That's not looking at this whole thing very critically. You seem to have summed it up and put it in a very small box. Because as much as it may f And you have just described how to make a title to a YouTube video. Fucking idiot. Wow. Wow. You take, you take offense at clickbait titles, which is like what you do. Pathetic male feminist tries to own you. Okay. I feel like this channel is challenging the status quo for you by asking the difficult questions. In many ways, it's actually just pushing its own version of the status quo. The one where we take street interview clips and from them surmise that women ought to be seen and understood as liars. Like, who is saying that, bro? Only you are saying that. Like, okay, yeah, sure, there's probably one, two, maybe three people who actually will watch one of these videos and think, oh my god, women are awful. But those people are just retarded. Like, they're just not even worth dealing with. The majority, and I mean straight strong majority of people who watch this sort of stuff like me and my audience, we don't like hate women, like what are you talking about? Let's see how the man's react to this. They belong to the streets and do not wife them. Obviously they're unwifeable if this is what they think. Look at her, look at her, every time. They are demons sucking you dry in a bad way. Not the good way, not down here. Your soul. Listen, listen if you don't believe me. Actually, I know I'm a prize. No, you're not. Why are you a prize? You just know it because they're brainwashing you. They're empowering you too much. You got nothing going on. You worship Kim Kardashian. You're on Instagram all Wait, hold on. So this guy Noah is saying basically that these videos will lead to people thinking that all women are liars. And then his little evidence for supporting that claim is a clip of Sneeko obviously like being dramatic for- In the last video that we watched, this person's evidence that he was right is just to play in full Jadion's reaction to the Nick is not green video. Like, it's, this makes absolutely no sense. Like, you have, basically, basically the conser conservative, um, conservative uh, tactic um, is to say, say whatever you like and just not have any any values other than self-interest basically at the end of the day and then act as though everyone else um believe has the same values as you which like and then act all fucking butt hurt when they don't like they have a word for it they call it virtue signaling which is the word they use when they discover that people aren't as fucked up as they are and so they they call they call it that they call it Virtue signaling when people are good people. They have an insult designed to attack people who do good things. That's how sad these people are. It's just that that I, I I don't I can't really say it any better than that. Like these people are so sad that they their 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 idea of an insult is to say that people do good things. Yeah, very insulting, bro. Fucking yeah, I feel I, I I feel destroyed right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is fucking dumb. Oh, these people. These people are fucking hilarious. Never stop making me content.
for the camera and saying that this woman is not a prize and calling her out for being full of herself in this interview. Like, what are you talking about? That's such a reach in logic. That's, just a, that's like a stretch, bro. You're not Mr. Fantastic. So stop with all the stretching, bro. You have a vapid personality. Why don't you engage with any of the stuff that he talks about rather than just say that he's stretching? You'd think that you would hit that this guy would know uh, what stretching is after going to the gym with his bros. I go with the bros. I wonder if he's like any of the other no fat people who like think about jerking off whether the other people in the place have, have, have jerked off that day. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. These people are fucking freaks. It's it's hilarious. Uh, just amazing, amazingly freakish, and uh, it's 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 honestly it's um. It's good to see. I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, kinks are still alive in, you know, the conservative spaces. Because otherwise I'd be, I'd be a little bit more worried. And you're an astrology hoe. There's nothing interesting about you, I guarantee you. You don't believe me? Come on the stream and try to charm me. How can men and women ever be equal if C costs more money than Hee <laughs> hee, I don't care. Give me more money for my pussy, whore. I gotta buy your pussy. Oh, look at him, dude. He's doing the yikes face, dude, because that's such a yikes, bro. But you want equal yeah. pay? Um, duh. Yeah, it is. Again, like, your own is that he finds this thing detestable, and I have to assume that you don't, which is really cringe, bro. Why are you so cringe? Stop being cringe. Does Stop it. You can get some anybody help. need therapy? Seriously, do you need to talk to someone? No, I, I don't actually. I'm good. I mean, you can go to the gym and it'll make you feel better. I don't know if, like, what is he about to you're trans- going, you're, you're going, Why is he talking not surf? I don't know. Maybe because he can't afford to, like, spend that much on the, the other guy's footage. Maybe. Maybe for that reason. Who knows? I just think it's absolutely fucking- whole, I, I think it's just- I think it's wild. I think this guy's wild. It's amazing. Position the video into like a therapy sponsorship. Is this guy sponsored by like Big Pharma on the antidepressants wave? Like, what, what's he about to do here? Because today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Okay. Big Pharma, bro. Really? Big. Big Pharma is your big own against him. Like he's sponsored by Big Pharma. He's doing. He's, do, he's doing. He's doing a. Uh, a YouTube ad because it's his job, and he gets demonetized a lot because people like like in your circles uh mass flag their videos uh to get them demonetized and you apparently are against this shit but like it doesn't seem like your audience is so yeah psychotropic drugs can be fun but i'm i i'm better without them <laughs> okay, I'm getting too good at this. Let's let's skip ahead. Victim or the prize? You're, you're Rules really of not. modern dating and understanding women. This is the video we'll be going over today. I mean, like, I, I would assume that, that what you did there was just irony, but, like, you don't understand what irony looks like. Well, I mean, you, d you demonstrated that you don't understand irony before, so I'm going to assume that that was, like, serious. In detail. Yes, it is a longer clip, but I think it's indicative of a few different ways that these interviews typically go. Pay attention and see if you can notice anything unique about the way this is conducted. When it comes to dating and relationships, who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. Ooh, the woman for sure. The woman? The woman. The woman. So if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? The wallet. Yeah. Bro, by the way, like, Noah is, is trying to say that, oh yeah, watching these interviews will make you hate women. It's like, bro, these women are on here saying stuff like, oh yeah, men are wallets. Like, you can hate a person who says that, bro. That's not a ridiculous thing. That's the point. But that's literally Noah's point. The, the point he's trying to make is that these videos were specifically chosen out of all of the reactions that people gave them to paint a particular picture of women. And that's what you're not understanding. Facetiously. I mean, like, you might understand it, but you don't seem to understand even sarcasm. So, like, who knows? Who fucking knows? Um, I don't know. Think to hate. I don't know what they are. I Doesn't that place are. the man at a lower value of status to the woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. 
don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Like, this guy wants to hate on this channel who's asking the questions, but not the women who are responding to them, saying some of the craziest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to yes. talk about how, like, so, no, don't women typically like, want to date a man debunks that later on and, and addresses that point. No, I like to be better. Or is he? So it, a woman declares oh, he doesn't. He doesn't like uh, roll back anything. He no. never actually. Okay, so firstly, this guy's an NPC. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. And by that I mean he's just using a dialogue tree. He has a list of questions that he's asking, and he rarely ever Who's deviates she? from the list. That's called doing an interview. Like what? When you have somebody that you're interviewing, you have a list of questions that you go through because you know these are good questions to ask that get good answers. And by good answers, in this case, we. Does he think this is an own? Do you see think describing something that everyone knows is an own? Like, Noah... The reason why Noah hasn't explained this shit is because I think he assumes that people understand how an interv interview works. What the fuck? What? This... This guy is either incredibly stupid or like intentionally ignorant it's hilarious it's a gift i'll never stop saying it you mean answers that kind of make people look dumb because they're speaking their true mind regardless of the way people answer the questions which makes for kind of a grating viewing experience but secondly and more importantly if we break down the questions individually we can see a little narrative start to form let's go back through these real quick so he asked when it comes to dating and relationships who is typically seen as the prize the man or the woman if the woman is the prize what would that make the man doesn't that place the man at a lower value a leading, status to the woman it's Don't what's called a leading question and like if he doesn't pick up on this, then like I've lost all hope in humanity. Women typically want to date a man on her level or higher. Don't women typically want to date a man who's a prize and not a loser? So if a woman declares herself the prize, isn't that relationship destined to fail? Now, if your head is spinning right now, that's because it's supposed to be. My head is not spinning. These are basic questions, and these women give kind of crazy answers sometimes. Sometimes they- Dude, 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 please stop. Don't try to do sarcasm. You're not good at it. Don't do it. Just please stop and get some help. Oh my gosh. Please stop. Just stop. It's not. It, it's not cute. It's not cute. It's, it's really fucking cringe. Stop trying. Stop pretending like you know what sarcasm is. Because it's really fucking cringe. Hearing you fucking attempt it. Holy fuck don't and the ones that don't don't make the cut because they're not as entertaining to watch i don't know what to tell you bro how we view relationships to the conclusion that basically that's just a self-report at that point because you just find it like entertaining to laugh at um laugh at women who look like oh my gosh you find it funny to laugh at women who have been led into misogynist questions like like that's that's on you man if you don't see a problem with that that's basically your problem stop making it everyone else's you fucking idiot in order for relationships to work women need to stop declaring themselves the prize or humble themselves he is by your logicking his way into making sure that women like i i support anyone who considers themselves the prize like fucking men or women or non-binary like have a good opinion of yourself that's like a good thing and understand that they're not as good as they think they are. No, dude, that's not what he's doing. These people are doing that, bro. Did you not hear that girl earlier who was like, yeah, I'm the prize, the men are the wallet. Yeah, she needs to be humbled. What? Like, what? <laughs> like, how are you going to defend that? I, I, I don't know. Let's move on to the... He's not defending it. He, he's saying that those questions were lead... A, those questions are leading. B, the interviewer picks the answers which suit their worldview. And you find that, and it's fucking a self-report that you find that shit funny because it just shows, like, everyone around you what kind of person you are. I don't know what to say, dude. Like, you're just a shitty person, it sounds like. Sorry. Next video. This one's stupid. Oh, okay. That's it. But it tries to own you, but... Oh wait, so the own was just the Twitter thing. And your response... 
This whole video was over a Twitter fucking argument. And that's fucking hilarious and pathetic. Oh my gosh. All right, let's have a look at uh, this one here soon. Oh, I got half an hour. I don't have enough. All right, so I'm going to check out the Noah Samson one, like his response to this video tomorrow, because that's going to be very interesting to me. I'm going to find that, but uh, oh gosh, 32 minutes. Nope. Oh, I might just chill out and. Uh... See, that's someone who came from a gym. No, I'm just kidding. I, I have no idea what he was doing. Oh. Ooh, treatment of treatment of not my king protesters is sparking freedom of speech fears. This looks interesting. So a crackdown on protesters holding Not My King and Abolish the Monarchy signs in the um, UK has sparked a series of new demonstrations amid fears freedom of expression is being squashed in the wake of the Queen's death. As Britons mourn the loss of Queen Elizabeth II and the new King tours his, con his kingdom, some public events and locations have attracted protesters uh, holding pro-republic and anti-monarchy signs. Uh, the non-violent -pro protests became a talking point after police in Edinburgh while well, I do this. Um, after police in Edinburgh and Oxford made arrests, and one woman holding a sign was asked to move away from the gates of the Houses of Parliament ahead of the King's arrival. Now, in response, blank banners and white pieces of paper are featuring in new protest as concerns are raised about the behaviour of police and any possible infringing of the basic human right of freedom of expression. Uh, Paul Powersland uh, was one of those protesters. Uh, while holding a blank piece of paper and uh, in Parliament Square, he was approached by a police officer and questioned over what he intended to write on it. I think our values of free speech and free expression are as precious, if not more precious, to the monarchy, and certainly they've been around longer than this branch of the monarchy. Um, he told... Wait, what? Wait, what? I think our values of free speech and free expression are as precious, if not precious, more precious as the monarchy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And certainly they've been around longer than this branch of the monarchy. Is he saying that, like, is he saying, like, the current king? Or is he saying, like... Yeah, like, uh, is he talking about the the li the lineage itself? Because like, freedom of speech and free expression are values which have never really been codified in law or outside of America. But even in America, they did a shit job of doing that. So, <laughs> yeah, like, we don't have freedom of expression or freedom of speech in any country. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, we we, we don't. That, that that's not something that. It's a thing. That's not a thing. Hmm. Um, I've seen a video of, of some of the signs saying not my king being moved along. And obviously I heard about other protesters who had been arrested or accosted by police. And I was really concerned. Um, I was really concerned that in this big moment of national mourning that maybe alternative opinions about the monarchy were being a bit squ a bit squashed by police. Oh, they're just being a bit squashed, are they? Aha! Um... Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go.
Love it. You love to see it. Chance record? I don't know what that is. Not their king, so they're not a citizen, then, is what they're saying. Look, look, look at all these bootlickers. Look at all these bootlickers here. When you're sitting in cold in the winter, you'll understand what she means. Exactly. Money, 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 money. What's the lack of respect? What's the respect? I don't get it. I don't get it. Fuck? What was the respect? I don't understand this one. Oh, fuck it's Remarkable, hell. doesn't it, that you could attract police attention for holding up a blank piece of paper. And we need to allow people to protest peacefully the political accession of a... Hey, that's that guy. A monarch. You're a barrister. Yes. I got his, I got his voice sound. right. I'm not, and I, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not... A I, think, I think it's going... No, <laughs> oh, but you... Oh, yes. I think, I think... I think our values of free speech and free expression are as precious, if not more precious, as the monarchy. And certainly they've been around longer than this branch of the monarchy. I think that maybe alternative opinions about the monarchy are being a bit squashed by the police, yes. Mm, yeah. You are um, qualified, legally qualified. Yeah. Good morning. I'm not chilled by a all. Not my king. I'm not going to be, why would you ask for my details? Just so I can check and make sure you can be here. I mean, I'm, sure. I'm in the you've, you, you've already said you've been arrested once. Sorry? You've already told me you've been arrested. No, I haven't. So no, you no, said no, that no, no, I said other people have been arrested. Okay, okay. well, now we've made that clear. Yeah. I want to make sure you don't have bail conditions not to be. Uh -huh. so, so, just confirm, you're not going to you give me your details. details? Just for, I was holding up a blank sign. Why are you asking for my details? You said you're gonna oh, that's the guy. This is the guy. I said I was going to write, not my kid. Paul Powelsland on Yahoo. What the fuck? Who's that going to offend? Don't know. Someone may Not be my kid. Someone might be a friend. Oh, do, 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 do you think you ring I went down to... Can you imagine being Charles right now? Just the fact that your title is now king is making women over a certain age just visibly angry across the world. He's just sitting around like, oh no, my mom's dead. And we're just like, fuck you, not my king. Can you imagine being... Yes. The, 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 the queen. Oh, that's the other one. Queen's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! Good! She was a colonialist! You know that the queen is the patron of- Oh, that's it. that, um... That, that's the old, uh, that's the old, uh, Scottish... Is that the- was that the Scottish... Scottish, uh... Queen's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! Good! She was a colonialist! You know that the Queen is the patron of- Queen's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm pretty sure that that's the... Wait a second... What's the, um... Ah! Sorry! What is it called? Scottish... <sighs> I think it was, uh...
I could be wrong. She was a colonialist. You know that the Queen is the patron of- No, I don't think it is. But, uh, I don't think it is, but that's what I was thinking of immediately. Amazing. Wait a minute. Is that all of them? Why does it not load more? Hashtag not my- The media has misled the public. I'm not gonna call him dad. Brennan, you're 39 years old. I would not expect you to call him dad. Well, I'm not going to, ever. British politics, <clears throat> politicians, are back from holidaying through a cost of living crisis and choosing a new prime minister without us. Now they're pulling out legislation old and new to arrest people for protesting the rise of another leader chosen without a democratic God vote. Save the king! Has soft power become hard power already? Why are people getting arrested for saying not my king or F the monarchy? Because they're against capital. But yeah, that's that's that. I think that that's probably enough for today. Like, uh, I like this one. Yeah. But in any case, I will we'll be back tomorrow for more cool stuff. We've gone for four hours, 20 minutes. That's pretty boast. Um, yeah, until next time, um, take care of yourself. Uh, take care of yourself and uh, take care of someone else.